<laughs> do, 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 do. TC fam's the best. Do, 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 do. TC fam's the best. And we know we're late. And we know we're late. <laughs> we're going to tell you why. Mm. Thank you for waiting. Here we are, TC fam. Mm, 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 mm. My wife put on eyeshadow. I did. For y'all tonight. <laughs> she doesn't even wear it for me. So you better say she's pretty. So you better say she's pretty. My wife looks pretty tonight. Mm. We. Hi. <laughs> we. Hi. <laughs> Is this okay? You? Yes, okay. it's very comfortable because I I'm I'm wedged in. It's Friday, mm, mm, mm. and we gonna work to the midnight hour. Get it, baby. Is that the word? I don't know if that's the word. Just make words. it up. Come it's on. Friday. Mm, mm. Y'all see why we don't have a time for live? Cause you know we just man, we just vibing. Cause we're just living <laughs> everywhere. We just got back from dinner. Well, well not really. We'll like an hour and a half ago. Yeah, we won't tell them yeah, about it. True. What y'all doing? Oh, brother, not the midnight hour. Princess Kanaya. Thank you. Um, well, we're get so, on it, Dave. We're Rain. so happy to see you guys. We are so happy to see you all. We decided that we are going to do some things that we used to do on our Friday Night Lives. Yeah. Like what, baby? Affirmations. Mm -hmm. Affirmations. We have gifts tonight. Baby, may I ask you a question? Oh, yes, because uh, our folks on IG gave us some gave great us a questions. a ton of questions. So we're going to answer some questions tonight. Yeah. And we're going to talk to you all. We're going to sing songs. We're going to sing songs. We have Tattletail C guys. and Tattletail T. Um, open and gifts. Open gifts. And we're going to tell you all about our conversation with the Belmont. So we have a lot to talk about tonight. That's so why we I hope y'all drank your um, we just got crystal started. light, and I hope y'all are double tapping and throwing it our way because we are TC fam. We are the TC fam. We are the TC fam. We are the TC fam. Hey, Christine. <laughs> Ashley. Awesome, Ashley. Thank you, awesome, Ashley. Happy Friday, everyone. <laughs> um, baby, oh, kitty, kitty, bum, bum, bum. Kitty, kitty, bum, bum. Kitty, kitty, bum, bum. Thank kitty, you. Kitty, bum, bum. Thank you. Kitty, bum, bum. That's if, a good start. If you just received a subscription, please thank Kitty, kitty, bum, bum, Michaela. <laughs> thank you, Michaela. Um, you guys. Before we get started, please drop in the chat something that you are grateful for in the last 24 hours. What's something that you're grateful for in the last 24 hours? Drop it in the chat. Thank you, Regal. Tracy's Tillamo Cheese got a new job. Is that Ocean? Yeah. Ocean got a new job. Congratulations. Getting a new scholarship. Danny got a new scholarship. Danny. Amazing. Congratulations, Danny. Your Family partner. vacation time. Remember, think of something really specific in the last 24 hours. Because remember, when you focus on the good and you focus on something that recently happened, it kind of retrains your brain to look for positive. Mm -hmm. So think about something specific. You got, got your a new place. place. That's Who exciting. Just sent subscriptions, baby? Ashley? Um, Ashley, Ashley Janae. Janae, thank you thank for the subscriptions. You. Thank you so much. You're thankful for Brie, awesome Ashley uh, said. So are we. Hello in Spain. Jolly Jared said Brie too. Life in general. Yeah. What specifically are you like really grateful for today about life? Got home from vacation safe. That's, That's always, always good. good. Right? There's no guarantee, right? Took half the day to study. Good job. Dude got a solo at the competition, offered a solo. Wow. Congratulations. That's awesome, Doodle. Mars, oh. grateful to have a job. What? FaceTime with Tania. Oh, who's that? Um, right here. 
Tania. Who had FaceTime with Tania? Right here. Hold on. It was right here. It was right there. I don't know. <laughs> I think I just saw Mimi. Is Mimi here? Mimi, I think are I saw you Mimi. here? Mimi, are you here? If Mimi's here, please say hello to C's mom and my mother in love. Hey, Kimba. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank Aww. you, Mimi. We're thankful for you. We are. We love you so much. They're all saying, hey, Mimi. Courtney Aspen got a scholarship, another college scholarship. Hey, Maya. Baby, what are you grateful for? Samantha C Mac. Um, I'm really grateful for that call we had. Really grateful. Mm -hmm. And how it uh, made you feel. Mm -hmm. Yes. How about you, baby? Um, I don't want to say the same thing that you said, so like I'm Well you can be grateful for the same thing. Mm -hmm. Of course you can. It was a big deal. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful for our conversation. Um and we're gonna unpack that a little bit later, you guys. If you stick around. But mm. only if you're gonna double tap. Baby, how do mm. they get the little emojis of us? Well, baby, you better tell them. Mm -mm. Those are for our subscribers. So if you're a subscriber, how many do we have on there, baby? Maybe you, you manage all We that. have 25 on one level and 35 on the other. So a yeah. lot of emotes. So a lot. And every yeah. once in a while, she'll switch them out. <clears throat> she has some more to switch out. <laughs> but we have some really good ones there. I, I'm not ready to okay. throw them away. So that's how you get the emotes and our subscribers also. We play virtual bingo. We do giveaways. We did a sub only live. Here when, come the emotes. When did we on, do it? Uh, when we went to dinner. What night was that? Today's Friday. Yesterday. So yesterday, yeah. We did a sub only live yesterday, you guys. Um, and your auntie got in trouble. We're going to talk about that. We went to <laughs> dinner. Was it last night or the night before? Last night. It was last night. Mm -hmm. So we did a, um, a sub only live last night. We went to a nice little Thai restaurant. Um, we've gotten takeout there before. We've never sat down there. So we enjoyed our dinner and TC fam just kind of hung out with us while we waited for our food. So it was fun. And um, you missed it, Twan Dog. Yeah, it was like 45 minutes. And you know, we don't post the, the sub only live. So you just had to be there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hey, you want to talk about what happened to someone like that? No, I got in trouble. You don't want to talk about it? That's going to be on your tattletale tea. You miss a sub live, I know. Hey, cutting up Corey. So, you guys, what are we going to do first, baby? Cutting up Corey. Oh, let me load my gun. Cutting up Corey, thank you. What are we going to do first? Um, I you don't want to talk about we I think gratitude. we start with tattletale. We can Excuse start you. with tattletale. We did gratitude. <laughs> thank you, Ashley Janae. Um, we had to write down some notes Thank so we you. would not forget what our um, tattletale stories are. That's right. Okay. Because T always has a lot of things to tell I you guys, and then we don't remember them. The first thing my wife said today, randomly, you guys, we were at dinner, and she said, I love it when they call us pooks. <laughs> what? I love I it when did. they call us pooks. That's what I said. <laughs> Tell them why, baby. Because remember, y'all, during Maui, she's like, don't call me pook, tink, pookie, bookie. Or bookie either. <laughs> she ahead, was baby. calling it bookies. Tell them, baby, why you like that. We love calling you pooks, tink, tink, <laughs> schnookums. Schnookums. <laughs> I don't know. It just It's just so sweet. It's cute, isn't it? Corey Massey. It's like Thank you, love. I need my glasses. Let me go get my, I want to get my uh, goggles. He said, hi, Pooks. We love you, Pooks. Baby, my goggles. <laughs> Pooda wooda. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi's like, what does that mean? <laughs> I was opening the boxes there. Thank you, my wife has one that matches. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Good to see you. It's been a long time since we've seen you. Hello in the Philippines. Jolly Jared, thank you, love. Oh, I keep emptying my gun. Hold on, I'm coming. 
I might have worn this pink one out. No, it's still going. The cute ones, they're all in the same box, baby. Oh, I just have on a little pair of white jeans and this cute little top that comes up around my neck. Come on, baby. You can just wear your other glasses. I'm wearing these. I don't know who gave these to me, but I'm wearing these. As she shoots her money gun. I don't know where the cute ones are. Well, these are cute. I don't know. Where'd you get those? Someone gave them to us. We have two pairs. Okay. You don't like them? Okay, okay girl. Cute. Okay, girl. Okay, more warming. Um, see, feel that thing. What's he talking about? You oh, money? the bunny gun. Jared. <laughs> Jared. I don't know what I'm thinking over here. I was. I know she ain't talking about my glasses. Baby, someone gave these to I us. Think to adorable. me, because so I can protect myself from these. Thank Jared. you, Kamika. <laughs> you guys. And all the money guns I missed. Babe, you keep hitting me with that money. We don't have a problem. You got your glasses on. I'm about to go get some more money because we already... Babe, you don't have enough awesome. money. Awesome. Ashley! Ashley, we miss you. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So, here's what we want to tell you. I feel so like... Like, that's not really in the camera. What do you want me to do? Well, no, it's just like... um. No, you can come back some. I just wanted to be a little bit more in. Go ahead and turn it some, baby. It's just I'm having to do this. And like in a few minutes, I'm going to be like. Well, turn your legs instead of leaning in. Baby, why are you doing me like that on camera? Turn your legs, girl. Y'all, I promise you. This way. She was so sweet before we turned the camera on. I still. Ow. ow. Was that your ring? Yeah. Before the y'all, before the camera comes on, she's so like, oh baby, I love you so much. Baby, I when still the, love you so much. I know, but when I'm that camera comes turn on, turn to the camera. Baby, when that camera comes on, eyebrows coming soon. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, if you twist your butt, see, I'm twisted this way a little bit. If you move your legs, it might work a little better. That's all. You want to tell on yourself? What'd I do? Baby, I already have the notes. We already talked about what you She made notes so I wouldn't tell? forget mm -hmm. how to tell on myself. About last night's sub live only? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah, my wife has to tell you all something, okay? It happened last night during the sub only live. If you were here. Shamaya said, my auntie C don't do nothing. That's right. If you were in our sub only live last night, you're aware of what happened. Yes. And my wife has to have a little Colleen. conversation right now. Hey, sugar, sugar, wooga. Sugar. Baby, tell me what happened. Sugar. Did you send sugar a message? About? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. I did. We're going to get back to you, sugar. Let Let's us hear, hear the, case the case first. first. Is this court? This is TC Fam Court. <sighs> yeah. Where's it the is. Let me go get the Oh, gavel. my God. We haven't had court it's in a long court. time. Yeah, we better do court just to get the stories straight. If you're new here, welcome to TC Fam Court. Here, baby, let's do it. TC Fam Court. Uh, Cheryl is the plaintiff, and I am the defendant. In this case of TC Fam Court, all rise. In this case, read my auntie C. In this case of TC Fam Court, we were engaged in a sub live only yesterday, and my wife has to share her side of the story. Her, she's the plaintiff. Her side, no, no, I'm the plaintiff, and you're the defendant, right? I just want to go first, whatever you want to call me. I'm the plaintiff because the she defendant. starts telling her story, no, and then the I get all. No, you get to go. You can go first. You're the defendant. I'm gonna let the defendant go first. Okay. Why? First. No, because you, and then I get to go last. I'm going to go first, and you go in the middle, and then I'm going to come clean it up. Baby, that don't make any sense if you're the plaintiff, if you're the defendant. Am I the plaintiff or the defendant? I'm the defendant. She's the, I'm, she's the defendant, I'm the plaintiff, but I'm going to let her go first because she's spoiled. Uh, in this episode <laughs> of TC Fan Court, she just want to talk. <laughs> C invited the entire TC fam sub group, 600 people, to help us pack at our personal house. So my wife 
is a defendant and she said she wants to go first. So before you do, can we swear you in? Okay. You ready? Hold your hand, baby. <laughs> Say, I swear. I swear. To tell the truth. To tell the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help so, me TC fam. So help me TC fam. Okay, here's it. I don't need that. Right, Bree. I was looking for you last Bree. night. Now, uh, mm -hmm. to talk to the people, baby. Oh, yeah. Some Bree's out there too. Bree. <laughs> <laughs> tell your case, baby. Just the whole story. Just be real. Just tell them, baby. They need to know. I don't know if I can talk in. Do you have to? You want to? It's. I think it's cute though for you talking to it. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. So last We're in night court. we had a little live. We were at the restaurant. Yes. We were at the restaurant. You listening, Bree? And. Mm -hmm. Bree wasn't there, and Leecha wasn't there, and Liz probably wasn't there either. Probably not Mo. We had no mods. Mm -hmm. This was what? And I got carried away. I was having fun. I was enjoying the TC fam. I was feeling very generous, and we were talking about moving, and so I invited all my TC fam friends to the house to help us pack. I said, you've never had so much fun. It's gonna be like the Christmas party where we were decorating the tree and I was just going on and on and on. And everybody said, okay, mm -hmm. I'm booking my flight. Mm -hmm. You know what happened after that, right? I'm gonna, you gonna swear me in? Well, we don't have to swear you in. I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, TC fam. So during this live, you guys, we were like, let's just hang out with our subs. We were really having a great time. And then, you know, we were moving. We know we have a lot to do in the next month to move. And my wife started, you know, no governor C got carried away and started inviting people again that people, people we've not even met, honestly. We don't even know them except a comment or two on the internet. And they started looking for plane tickets to come to Dallas because my wife said they can come to our house, our home, and pack our personal things. So I kind of got out of the frame a couple of times and I was like, you know, so y'all wouldn't see. And I was she like, was sign language in me. I was like, baby, baby, come on now. And she was like, no, I want them to come. I said, baby. And it, it was nothing. And then, you know, she loud talked me whenever I would try to say, baby, like, let's just kind of be cool about this, you know? And um, so I just felt like, you know, in that space, no governor C was there. She was not listening to her wife, who was really the voice of reason in that moment, where as much as we love everyone, we can't have hundreds of people coming to our house to that we've never met to pack our personal things. It's just, so I love my wife and I love her heart. And we have so much fun with the TC fam, but there's just a time and place and space for people to come around and people we know and, you know, she was happy, and I love that about her. Um, and so she, so I just feel like I should win this case because it's about, you know, our safety. It's about just kind of protecting our space. It's about hundreds of people convening on our personal home. And I just thought it probably was not a good idea. I love her, though. May I just say one thing? Yes. Okay. I just want to say that we had the same... Um, problem with no governor C when uh, we were talking about doing our vow renewal in Puerto Vallarta and it all worked out fine. We had 20 TC fan and it was fine and we were only going to have two. We had met everyone baby. We had met everyone. I'm just saying. Okay. So I love it. her and you know we ready to vote now because this case is closed. Can you please put a poll? They say, see, are you pleading guilty? <laughs> right, Kara. Can I get a lighter sentence if I They said Cheryl is right. <laughs> Thank you, Sonique. Sorry, C. <laughs>
T1, sorry. I love C. her so much. Though. I know. And we, you know, we all get fun. We all get carried away and have but fun. But I really meant it. I thought it would be just so much fun, but yeah. Love you, C, but no. So you guys, you know, we have a we have a poll up right now. So you can decide if, if I won or if my wife won and know that we are either no matter who wins. I just wanted to host. <laughs> Baby, I, I was having fun. You know how I am. But I meant it. But then I know you I meant understand it. That's the problem. You, you meant can't. it. <laughs> and I was like, well, baby, um, like, how is this going to work again? Now tell me how this is going to work. <laughs> Who's T? I'm T. <laughs> and we had so many people text us at, or message us after and say, I'm coming. Like, what can I do? What can I bring? And I'm going to be there. And what day do you want me? And all of that. And yeah. Thank you, Lonnie. Lonnie's. Okay, thank so you. is the poll, did y'all vote? Oh yeah, they said T's winning. It's okay, see, we know Where's you love your us. Ring? I have it on. Okay, good. My rings. She has it on. I have them on. That's right, split check, Maya. All right, so I won. No, I'm sorry. T no. ate this court up. For the first time. See, you wrong, but I'm But a I'm a vote for you. you. <laughs> there's no bias in the TC fan. Like, there's it no bias. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. I ate with that court case. I pled no contest. I ate with that court case. Thank you, Yvonne. Hello? Yes. Oh, I, I know you ate. You I'm ate. Say, ate what? Say it, baby. Ate what? You didn't say it right. <laughs> Ate what? I don't know how I said it. <laughs> Y'all helping us learn language. Oh, know we're old. we don't know that. T won court for the first time. That's not true. I've won cases before. But baby, do you want to go ahead and tell them though, like what they, you know, the? How does Cheryl get twenty percent? <laughs> I guess they just, you know, they were just feeling. Y'all just me. like her. <laughs> They were feeling sorry. So anyone for me. can just come to y'all's house who y'all don't know and pack. I guess. Okay, got it. I know. Well, it wasn't just like anyone. I, we haven't met them, but we've interacted a lot with them. So I just thought, well, baby, do you think anyone else on the internet's doing that? How do you think we met all the people for the first time? It wasn't at our house. Well, that's true. Anyway, y'all are so bi your bias is showing. That's okay, we love y'all. <laughs> That's fair. Someone said, hell to the gnome. Well, I was you, just Julia. excited, it's true. She was. Peyton says she's probably biased, we know. And it's funny because we hadn't, I hadn't thought about it before I started coming out of my mouth. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Man, return those two tickets, all. basically. <laughs> They said, oh if, my I feel God. like a meet and greet should happen first. Exactly. So, you guys. I don't disagree. It's just I wasn't them? thinking about that. Did you want to tell them how they can help? No. If they want to you just can. That's okay. We don't have to say anything. Stand your ground, C. Corny Aspen was looking at tickets. I know. We don't have grandkids. I wish we did. Y'all, she is not too nice. Nice. I didn't say you're not nice. She's not too nice, though. Like, that's not... What does that mean? Porsche. What do you mean? There's a Porsche. So there's... You can't... Oh, well, they're talking about Auntie C. They're not talking about Porsche. Or C. Murda. Or C. Murda. Oh, who else? Cheryl Renee. That's right. Okay, that settles that. Anything else you want to talk about? Brianna, we are married. Moon. Two women married. We do, I do, what baby? Oh, go ahead. I have three grown children, and so T has three grown stepchildren. So we do have questions. We're gonna to get to some questions and stuff that you all ask. Two women, yes, we're married. Hey, Keisha. Um, Y'all crashed the whole spirit website for us. Sorry, but instead of a plane <clears throat> ticket, if you were like, "Hey, let's," we want to help get some boxes or some tape or whatever. <laughs> you all have been messaging us, asking us, "What can you what do?" Can we do? So we listed only things that we need to move. We put it in the link in our bio. So instead of buying a spirit airline ticket or whatever else, 
you can buy us two boxes and we will just you'll use them to move so if you want to check out the link in our bio for and uh, autograph them please tnc's big move they can't because amazon's going to send it i know baby yes yeah, amazon list that you can actually use instead of flying here getting a hotel spending thousands of dollars that my wife thought y'all would want to do Y'all gonna have, have five. We well, need five hundred boxes. boxes. There's tape. What else? There's tape. There's bubble I hope wrap. There's lots of wrapping there's paper. Bubble wrap. Um, garment boxes. I need a lot. We need lots that, of those. We have a, yeah, y'all. We need lots we of those. Stuff. So we have one month to get all this done. You would have booked so fast. Aww. I know. We just thought maybe we should at least need to meet you all first before y'all come to our home because that's you know it makes sense understand. to me. Like, you know, 450,000 people. We don't, we don't really, you know, no. I know. Yeah, it's okay. I know. Um, baby, thank it's you. We're really we're excited. Moving. We're really excited about our new house. Tell them why we're moving, baby. You tell them, baby. I'm thirsty. I am too. I'm going to get a soda. You want a soda? I want another one of these. We don't have any more of these, do we? I'll get you some of them. No, just some I plain water. I tonight. Mm -hmm. With those little, those kind of bottles? Thank you. I'm going to get a soda so I can stay up because I'm sleepy. So my baby's going to tell Thank you, you back, about. Girl. What are you going to tell them about? I'm going to tell them why we're moving. Okay. And I'm going to tell. Can I tell them a little bit about the, the yeah. place? Do you want a snack? So I don't quick? want a snack. Okay. I just am thirsty. That's it. Just water. Um. I'm going to get a soda. Skibbity toilet riz, baby. Huh? Skibbity toilet riz. What is that? That's what we were talking about the other night. Remember on live. You don't remember? Baby, I don't know what language you're speaking. <laughs> Jesus, what language are you speaking? But. <laughs> remember when I went to my hairdresser oh. and we were talking about skibbity and skibbity toilet and all that? Girl, yes. <laughs> they said, see, don't say that. Okay, well, I'm not Is really it, saying it because. It's probably like foul or something. No, no, no. It's a, it's a game. I, that's why I said I'm going to show you. It's like a, I don't know. Anyway, I'll show it to you. Awesome, Ashley. Maybe there are 1,600 people don't want to hear about skiggity <laughs> whatever. We got the late crew. Baby, do you want to um, tell them we're moving and stuff? Yeah. So, um, we've been here two, two and a half, mm -hmm. two and a half. I've been here two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Two, when we, yeah, two and a half years. Um, but I had this place. Um, before T moved in and she loves it I love it it's beautiful um, but we kind of thought it might be nice to have a place that we um, selected together so we started looking around and um, one of the things we said we have a beautiful sunset view and then uptown and we can see parts of downtown from T's, balcony, T's office balcony um, but we said if we ever moved we would want like a straight-on downtown view and we'd have to have really big closets because we have really big closets here. Like we weren't going to give up the things that we loved. And um, so we started looking and we found an amazing spot um, in downtown with a downtown view and this view. So there's actually glass on both sides of the unit and um, it has a balcony. What else does it have that you love? It has a butler's Florida kitchen, windows. floor to ceiling windows that it's are just like 3, stunning. Thousand something square feet. It's mm -hmm. a pretty nice size, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's beautiful. Yeah, so we're super we're excited. excited. Like it's we'll give you a tour when we because, get there. Because even though when we got married, um, we talked about it, and C was like, "Hey, I can move to your place, or you can move here." Like if we were just. It, was, it didn't matter where we lived, we just wanted to be together. But I really wanted to come to this place because it was a lot larger than mine. I had a two bedroom, but it wasn't as large as this one. So it made sense. And so when we started thinking about moving, it was like, you know, even though I do feel like this is our, my home too, it just feels different for us to go look together and find the place and, you know, put everything up together. And, you know, it just, it just makes a difference, you know? So we're excited. And you guys, um for the first time, we're going to be able to combine um, some of, I mean, this place was full, right? So we brought some of T's furniture here, some of T's art, and the rest of it, um, we kind of made a decision. Are we gonna keep the sofa that's here? Or are we gonna put the, your sofa at the model? 
because I have a 3,500 square foot model that is full of furniture and mm -hmm. art. And uh, so this is the first time we're going to be able to, uh, we're gonna take all of that, plus all of this and try to massage it into place. And we're not sure all of it will fit, but. Um, so we're gonna have both our sofas. Like yeah. Your sofa, my sofa. Yeah, and so it's gonna be kind of fun. And, yeah. Because we, we have the opportunity for three different living areas in this home. Mm -hmm. And right now we just have one, so. Is it enough, yeah. is it enough space for everybody to come, maybe? Probably. <laughs> Thank you for the gift. Probably. Mm -hmm. So y'all double tap, let everyone know you're here, share the live. If you're not following us, follow us. Check out the link in our bio for all of our socials, all of our information, um, our merch store, what else? Our Amazon um, storefront, our Spotify, and Apple playlist. That's a long list. We have a lot of stuff in the link in our bio. Check out the link in our bio. And you guys, I have on the sock again today on my cast. You know why? Because <laughs> it messes up my blouses. Yeah. Like it snags everything. So it I'm does. like, it you really can't does. be snagging my cute top. She put on a new top, brand new, beautiful silk top. Destroyed. Baby, now that's dramatic. Okay. Baby, well, it's not destroyed. Okay, baby. You proud of yourself? It's not destroyed. So anyway, that's why I'm I have the sock on. Yeah, there it's brutal. Mm -hmm. Like DJ, it's like tearing up everything I own. Mm-hmm. No, Suzette she's not sent subs. Suzette! They said she's see, don't not... be messy. <laughs> <laughs> she, Suzette, thank you. She is not trying to hide the tattoos on Casta. She's Y'all want to see? I just don't want to tear my blouse. No, don't, don't. But I need to show, I need okay, to show we'll, them. Okay, we'll just put it back on. Will you promise? Can yeah. I have the other sock, baby? Because this one's, I think I've used this enough. Okay, we'll get after. The other one, not right now. Yeah, right now. But you want to show them, baby? This is my cast. Show them the bottom. Why am I white writing all on my cast? I got to go to the workhouse, and I got Zaddy T on my cast. Zaddy T. I said, they need to know. And Why look, she, she has her here so be big? sweet. And she has, I love her. I wrote that. Portia was here. Come get your baby. They said she ate that. <laughs> no, she didn't. Yes, she did. Let's put that back on. Give me your sock. Give me a little Give me your sock. And it hit my ring. Really hard. Oh, she on it today. She she did, Maya. What she wrote Zaddy T. <laughs> all right you guys at the end of our but night the tc fam helped me come up with all of the uh, words so we're going just to let me know at the end of the night yeah. oh sorry baby we're gonna do that's it i'm finished it's we're gonna done. do we're gonna do something different baby let's do instead of a meet and greet can we do a q a with subs like a zoom q a yeah i'd love that just with a group of subs they can ask questions we can do that instead of a meet and greet mm -hmm. okay so at the end we're gonna do for subscribers we're gonna do q a a Zoom Q&A, a Zoom Q&A. Why a sock, we baby? We in the water. All right, what's next, baby? You wanna do questions? Oh no, we're not finished. You're not finished telling. What? Telling what? On yourself? Hold on. Telling on myself. Okay. I'm gonna tell you. We got myself. that with Casta Invasion and TC Fan Pay for Dinner. Those are the two things. This was so cute. So uh, on Mimi Monday, we went to our favorite restaurant and uh, we had dinner and um, we were sitting at a booth by ourselves by the bar and uh, we asked for the check. And our server said, there is no check. And we kind of went, mm -hmm. and I thought, okay, T must have called and said, you know, pay for my wife and my mother-in-law's dinner. That's what I thought. <laughs> And I said, did, did my wife call you? She said, no. Um, she looked at me kind of funny. She said, your, your fans? <laughs> your fans bought dinner for you? And I went, really? And she said, are you a singer or something? Like, I wait on you all the time, but I don't know what you do. <laughs> it was so cute. I would have said, yes, I'm a singer if I was there. 
And anyway, I said, no, I'm not a singer. My wife is. <laughs> That's funny, baby. Oh, my God. The uh, TC fam was there, and they were sitting in a booth, you know, 20 feet from us. They didn't come over and say hello. So you don't even know who it was. We don't know who it was, and the server didn't know either. So, But it was so sweet. And they said the nicest things uh, for the server to tell us. And they just said they didn't want to disturb well, I guess they probably knew it was Mimi, but us, and um, that they just appreciate uh, so much about our content and just who we are, and they wanted to be supportive. They didn't want to intrude, but they wanted to buy dinner. So Is that sweet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw a TC sweet. fam when I was getting medicine today at CVS. You did, I know. I saw a TC fam. Mm -hmm. She said, you live in Dallas? Show mm -hmm. child, mm -hmm. we live in Dallas. Anyway, and then you were gonna talk about Casta invasion. And oh then my we're going to do some questions, and we're going to do gifts, and we're going to unpack the situation that happened with us in Italy, because we yeah. have an update for you We have an update. Yeah. What else? We do have the sweetest fans. We do. We just say fan. Fans sound so I like, know. It sounds It sounds funny. so weird. Like no. It's like our community, our TC fam. Fam. Yeah. We have the sweetest fans. Fam. Yeah. That's it. We like that. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um. Guys, you know, I, I'm being sweet. I'm being <laughs> sweet. Guys, you know my sweet, amazing wife, she has this cast on. And I don't know how to explain this to you, but, well, there are two things that are happening. We're moving, so all of a sudden, wife has, has adopted the uh, mindset that we're moving, so we don't have to be, like, organized or, you know, it's like, we're moving. I said, you don't have to make up the bed. You don't have to make up the bed. You know, I always make up the bed. She does. You don't have to make up the bed. We don't have to do anything anymore. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, that's an adjustment for me, just in my mind. Baby, it didn't first. seem like it. You was happy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, sometimes it's nice to have a little break. Yeah. But like for a day or so. But, you know, when you're rolling into a week, it's like, okay, this is too much. I don't even feel like myself. So I've been really, um, you know, taking her at her word and not making the bed. But... Uh, that's the first part. Have you been spraying? But then, it? yeah, I spray it on the oh, whole really? pile. Yeah, no. I spray the whole pile. Oh. It's a pile now. Guess what's in the pile? Casta. She has pillows that come with her. She's got a little ski ramp. The Rosanna scent. She has a horseshoe-shaped pillow because she likes to prop it. And that. she took off the United flight. No, no, no. That was mine. Oh, oh, that's the hotel. Never mind. Sorry. And then <laughs> on the United flight, they had this little memory foam, only about this thick, about this long, you know, just like this little, just perfect for something. Why is it a ski ramp, baby? Because that's what it is. It's like a. You see, Rosanna, ski slope. Okay, go ahead. Fine. Go ahead. That's what it looks like. You're right, baby. Go ahead. So we have the ski slope. We have the horseshoe shape memory foam pillow. We have the little United, little skinny envelope pillow. And four other pillows, big ones. Two memory foam, big. Other pillows, mm -hmm. all the blankets, all jumbled up. Mm -hmm. That's all I was gonna say. What's your... Life is very different. I feel like, you know those people that sleep with I don't know, their kids or their dogs and the dog's toys come in or the kid's toys come in or the whatever it is, their blankies and all that stuff. That's what's happened to our life. Casta brought all his friends, her friends, her pillows, her blankies. And the, you know, can I share my side? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it's uncomfortable for my wife because I had this cast. The other night, this is Channel TLC episode. The other night, you know, it kind of takes me a little few minutes to get situated <laughs> because my arm hurts. This cast is big. I can't sleep where I cuddle her like I normally do. So the other night, it apparently was taking me too long for C's liking to get situated. So I was tossing and I was trying to put this and then I was this trying to- This thing is hard. And then I was trying to- Maybe. Uh -huh. And then I was trying to do this, and I was trying to get the pillow over here. And then she looked at me, she went, are you almost done? <laughs> I and I thought, oh, oh I so 
little patient, said, though. Baby, I'm sorry that you're struggling and your arm is hurting and you can't get situated. She said, are you almost done? And I said, now let me tell you something, see, because this, this is how we talk to you. I said, see, when you thrashing about at night and you whining and you're hot and you want me to go turn to air spiders, like, I don't, I don't treat her like that. I wake up, she will wake me up and say she's hot. And no, what do I do? Easy. I literally wake up and go turn the she air does. down. She's an amazing sleeper. Like, she wakes up, she goes right back to sleep. She's she's amazing. She's always pleasant, truly. You are. Hey, why You're you so sweet. When I, couldn't get I don't know. Baby, well, my arm. I couldn't get sick. Baby, 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 she left out a detail. What? You ready? What I do? Somehow, with the tossing and turning and the casta, Casta was taking all the blankets that way with it. And then it would come back on me. And it was just like, so I'd pull the covers back up. You didn't see all that. And then she'd turn the other way and there they'd go again. So, I, anyway. So what, baby? That's all I <laughs> We just did that about six times. Baby, it was just a couple of minutes, baby. Six just... times in a couple of minutes. And I was just wondering how long it was gonna last. That's all, so I could prepare myself. I love that you're so patient. Yeah. I and I love that. that you really understand how uncomfortable this is. I, even I do, do baby. That. I really do. And that you're so just, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it so much. Y'all, Casta was being messy. Y'all named it Casta. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Um, Casta needs to pay rent. Right, Tyus. Three more weeks, you guys. I will get it off on August. Yeah, first, first week in August, I don't have yeah. to get a splint. No, he said two weeks, you're gonna be in a splint, and then you go into uh, physical but therapy. But that's what the cast guy said, maybe I won't. They're not gonna let you just go wild with that thing? With no cast? No, you, you still have to have something to keep it steady, baby. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I need time to adjust. Mm -hmm. Baby, we look wealthy, child. It just looks thin, baby. We're, we're rich in love. We got lots of play money. And we've written a lot of play money. <laughs> we got lots of play Welcome money. Welcome to your first live. Welcome. Mm hmm So I'm wearing these goggles. You need to Thank, Thank you, Sonique. Thank you, Sonique. Uh, who would do gifts right now? What do you do right Let's now? Let's do whatever. Let's do some gifts. We could do gifts. And then you would only do questions. We have a lot I want to do questions. You do questions. I want to do questions. Okay, yeah. you all ask us a lot of questions on IG that we're going to answer some of those. So I need y'all to double tap because there are 1,500 of you in here, which means all of you should be tapping. tapping. You know what happened last time? We stopped talking. We um, we got to 2 million likes. We did, when? Last week? Yeah. Last Friday, we yeah. got to no, 2. No, it was Sunday night. It was Sunday a Sunday night. night. Do you remember that? That's right. It was a random Sunday night and we had a great crowd. Oh, like 2,000 We had 3,000 people. people. Yeah. And um, T said, we're not going to talk unless you tap. Baby, they got the tap. They said tapping is clapping. That's right, y'all. Tapping is so, clapping. Uh, it was so much fun. So we got confetti and yeah, and we just kept talking. Tonight. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay, you guys. It was a fun live, yeah. Talking tonight. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay, you guys. It was a fun live, yeah. Are we still here? Yep. Sorry, you guys. TikTok glitch. It just did a little glitch. Can you hear us? Um, we back. Can you hear us? We're back. It does that. Good night, Crafty thing. Kamika. Love you. Baby, here's a Get question. Get some rest. We're going to answer some okay, questions good. that you all gave us on, on Instagram. IG. Okay? Yeah. So this is... Not baby, me ask you a question. Just kind of like yeah. questions, right? Um, if this is auntie, can I ask you a question? Right. <laughs> Baby, did we know each other before we were friends on Facebook? No, we did not. We did not. We didn't know each other really when we met. But and we kind of Facebook, did. You know, yeah. we were seeing each other, but we did not know each other. Yeah. We had mutuals, a few mutuals, but I don't even know you. Can you believe that? No, and we are married. Married. I married a stranger. You married a stranger. We were literally strangers in our lives. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Who would have ever thought? Never. Yeah. That's, that's the craziest part. Wild. Can you tell the story? Uh-uh, y'all. <laughs> kitty, kitty, bomb, bomb. Kitty, kitty, bomb, bomb. Here you go, love. Thank you. 
for sending mm -hmm. subscriptions. You guys say thank you if you got one. Um, we met uh, through Facebook. We were friends for several years. Yeah, and then that big, this is one of the other questions that uh, someone from IG um, asked on one of the other pages. Mm -hmm. They said, do you think you would have ever met no. if it hadn't been for the ice storm? I don't think so, y'all. I don't either. We would have been friends on Facebook still to this yes, day. Yes, without knowing one another. And it's crazy because, you know, all those years that we were friends, we never saw one another mm -hmm. except one time. Well, I saw you. Well, that's what I'm saying, but it was only one time. You didn't see me, girl. I know, but you I'm saying all those time. years. Girl, don't be your auntie. I'm saying mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. we lived in the same town, city, and lived block well, within blocks, each blocks of one another and never met. So I don't know how we would have met if it hadn't been for that fateful ice storm. And I you had gotten the courage to message me and offer me lasagna. I know. Or food. Do you think you would have messaged me if I hadn't reached out to you two years before that or whenever it was? Do you think that kind of warm? I don't remember okay. considering that think at about all. That. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember considering that. Maybe I did. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was a little tiny message thread, so maybe I thought, okay, I don't know. I just yeah. knew I could help you. That really was my only thinking at the moment, and then she was really beautiful. It was very lonely in that storm. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What? What? I was going to say something. What's that? Is that the microphone? Heard. Can you tell a story? Not right. Y'all, y'all double tap. We might get into it a little bit. Um, rings. Where's your ring? I have one. Baby, here's a question. Rings, rings. What would you say is the most beautiful thing about our relationship? And we can both mm. answer. Do you want to go first? Um, can you see? You're leaning back. Yeah. You okay? Okay. I can think. I think the most beautiful part of our relationship, I think, is our ability to, like laugh and just have a lightness to our lives y'all we laugh all the time mm -hmm. like we have such a great chemistry in all kinds mm -hmm. of ways but especially just with like just how we approach life um and i think that's the beautiful part we laugh a lot we make light of things we um mm -hmm. challenge each other we mm -hmm. help each other grow we hold each other accountable um i think those are all beautiful things because I don't think that's, I know it's not evident in every relationship, right? Mm -hmm, All of mm -hmm. that. So um, I think she's hilarious. She <laughs> thinks I'm funny. I think she she's is. funny. Like we just I we like, play off of each mm -hmm. other in a beautiful way, I think. Mm -hmm. So I like intelligent humor and I don't mean that it has to be like over everyone's head, but I don't like, um, you know, I don't want, I don't want bathroom humor, you know, mm -hmm. young, juvenile. I don't like that kind of thing, mm -hmm. but I like it when People use their brain and they come up with something, you know, funny. And she does that too. You use your brain all the time to come up with funny. She's my little comedian. Mm -hmm. Baby, what, what do you think is the most beautiful part of our relationship? Oh my gosh, baby, I was telling you about this. Um, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, but um, I love all the things you mentioned and they are at the top of my list. Um, but added to that is what I told you the other day is that I am so grateful for the safety in our relationship. I feel safe. I can be myself 100%. And she just loves me, you know? And it's a great feeling, you know, that you can finally show up 100% as your authentic self. And you have this person that goes, you're the best, you're my favorite person. You know, and we both feel that way That's about true. one another. Mm -hmm. And um, the other thing that, um, this kind of hits on what you said, but I just have to say that when you are inspired by your partner and you are have a lot of respect for what they've accomplished and their brain and just who they are and their integrity, um, it just makes you want to be even more as well. You know, it's, it's very inspiring. Mm -hmm. Like it drives me because she's so driven, you know, and I know how hard she's working for us and I work equally as hard for us. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just, um, yeah, it's just unlike anything I've ever experienced. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we're like partners, mm -hmm. like literally partners. Mm -hmm. 
in the life, yeah. you know, in all aspects of it. Mm -hmm. And we posted a video earlier today from our live on Sunday, or one live, I don't know, where we talked about like, it's not easy, it's still work, you guys. Like, you have to work at the commitment, you have to work at the relationship, you have, you make mistakes, you, um, you get a little sassy sometimes when you shouldn't, when I'm trying to get comfortable in the bed, you know, you just push through, but you have to be able to talk about those things and move past them in a way that you can still continue to grow together. So I love that we are partners and we both feel like we are um, accountable for the success of the relationship. Absolutely. It's not just one side. <clears throat> no, we're, we're equal partners mm -hmm. in every part yeah. of it. Like this week, you guys, <clears throat> it's kind of been a heavy week. Um, like it's been kind of heavy since we got back from Europe, but this week has been very busy with work. My wife's been very busy with work. So like we had this like heaviness yesterday. Like it's one of the reasons why we wanted to go out to eat. We wanted to do a little bit with you all on the TC fam, but because there's so much like happening. And you know, for her to be able to say like, baby, this is what I'm feeling in this moment. And like I knew, okay, go over there, hug her, reassure her everything's gonna be okay. And when I'm like, baby, I just feel so overwhelmed with A, B, and C, and she's like, What's one thing I can do to make mm -hmm. your life easy today? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what you do. So you meet them where they are. Mm -hmm. And you know what? And sometimes you may not be feeling that good yourself. You may be kind of like, oh, I'm feeling kind of down too. Is she down? Oh my God. But you step up and you're like, okay, what can I do for you? Because when I'm doing that act of service for her or she's doing it for me, it helps us feel good better. too. It mm -hmm. helps us feel better. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really about just like our partnership is give and take. There's not a one side of anything over here at all. Mm -mm. And sometimes I can give 80% and she only has 20 to give. Sometimes it's 50-50. Sometimes I probably got five, she got 95. Mm -hmm. it, and whatever it is, it, it's what we have to give. Mm -hmm. And to be able to say, baby, right today, I only got 5%. So she's going to know, I got to mm -hmm. step up, I got to reassure her, I got to, maybe I manage a little bit more than I normally do because, and that's just how it is in all aspects of life. But you guys, that doesn't just happen. It doesn't just happen. You have to be intentional about that and work at that. And we still have to Commit work to at that. that. Yeah, we still work at that. Because when you're empty, like you're empty, you're so empty, you just want to cry. And you look at your partner and they're empty in other ways, but empty also and need you. It's like that, that's when you, you really like have to get up in love. Mm -hmm. You have to because you know, think about this. You know what it feels like to be empty and you know what you need. And sometimes you find exactly what you need when you get up at that moment, when you're drained and you love and you give. Trust me, you both get. We never just sit there and say, oh, I'm, I'm too tired too. Like it's never, never are we both just so exhausted and just turn our back like, I can't help you and you can't help me. We've never done that. That would be so devastating. Yeah, like, never. Can you it's like, that? We'll, if, if anything, we'll just cry in a heap. Together. With <laughs> Casta and all the pillows. Baby, the cast ain't got nothing to do with this. You know what I mean. So that's, not, that's a long answer to that question. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was asked by, um, oh, I can't read the name, MK Pryor. So we just got to talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, Aww, we talked about that today. Yes, we are. What's that? Oh, you want to read it? Well, we don't have to say it because I'd rather just I do know. it. I <laughs> know. Advice Aww. on young relationships and family in laws trying to ruin the relationship. That makes me sad. Yeah, I just read you that. Talk about that, that makes me really sad. Someone asked me and, how we can give yeah. advice. It's Autumn. It's Autumn Blossom. Are you here, love? On young relationships and family in laws trying to ruin the relationship or interfering in the relationship. If you're here, uh, I think we should talk about that. Okay. You know, um, and we can kind of connect it to this question from Stephanie Schiff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was our family accepting of our union? We can mm -hmm. do both of those mm -hmm. together. Okay. Oh, she's here. Yay. Wait, we're going to read your question. We're going to talk or about answer it. your question. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody goes about uh, sharing new relationships and their joy and their happiness different ways. Um, but a lot of times, you know, family and friends, they have their own ideas about what they want for you and what they expect you to want for you. 
and uh, they don't uh, have any problem like, you know, putting that on you. And we learned through um, a lot of error uh, mm -hmm. that that is not, for us, it was not necessarily the best route to go because those opinions will cause you stress if they're not you know, in alignment with what you want. Um, they're gonna cause a rift in your relationship mm -hmm. that you're trying to build. And um, we just decided that it was healthier for us if we were ever going to have a chance um, to get to know one another first and to keep all of our um, growth and a new understanding of one another, mm -hmm. everything we were working through, the details of us, very close to our chest. And <clears throat> I think it was one of the smartest things we did. Because and the first time we've probably ever done it, both of us. <laughs> the first time we've ever done it and it worked. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, but I know, like I started, it's like, it, you're so excited, excuse me, and you want to share. And your friends and family just want you to be happy. Mm -hmm. They really do. If they love you and they're not trying to control you in some manipulative kind of way, they just want you to be happy. So they want to make sure you're looking at all the sides. But I would say, keep it safe, keep it private, keep it yours. Ask yourself and your partner um, all those questions that your parents and your friends are going to be asking you. Figure it out yourselves. Mm -hmm. So when they start, when you do decide to go public with it, let's say, uh, at least with your you know close circle, that you have all the answers. It's not the answers for them. You have the answers for you mm -hmm. and your partner. And the other reason I think it's important to um, really, really do the work yourself with your partner is because you're the only person that has to live the life you're choosing with the person you're choosing or have chosen. So honestly, what everybody else thinks, it doesn't matter. And that's not to be disrespectful to people. It's just to take ownership of your own life and your relationship, take the responsibility of it, the care for it. You have to guard it. You have to protect it. Um, you know, you just have to really be mature about it. So um, I would, short story, keep it to yourself until first of all, you know it's going to work and you have something to share. And um, yeah, just guard it with everything you are. You wanna to add to that, baby? I just wanted to add that when you have that disagreement or you have that grit or you have that argument or whatever, the first person you, you wanna to go to your friend or your sister or your mom or your best friend, whoever it is, like they're not going to forget what you tell them. Mm -mm. So you all may get over it. You're mad the moment you're venting doo, 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 and then y'all are going to make up and they are not going to forget what you said about your no. person. So it's disrespecting the relationship, your partner, um, and you expect them to move on like you did. They're not going to, they won't forget it. They're going to hold it over your partner's head and they're going to be like, uh, -uh. Mm -hmm. nope. I remember when they did this and they did that. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the main reasons. So in this, you guys, um, we have normal disagreements like any other couple would have. Um, but I don't call my sister and say, girl, C did this. Can you believe she did A, B, and C, and D, and E, and F, and G, and H, and I, and J, and K, and no, L, and M, and N. No, she just gets on and tells it. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, you guys, because they don't forget. So we made that commitment, and everyone in our, I think the people in our lives who are used to us running our mouth about our relationship are like, they ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and we're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got this one. Mm -hmm. She has me and I got us and she has us. Like we have the relationship and we have to care for it. Uh, and I love the way we care for our relationship mm -hmm. in that public space, especially. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's one thing I would add. Mm -hmm. And I would like to say one, or, no, go ahead. okay. Mm -hmm. I want to say one more thing about that. Um, if you feel the need to talk and share and you're just used to that, I think it's really important that you check your own motive in that mm -hmm. because sometimes all we want to hear, let's say you've had an argument about something and you don't agree with your partner and you haven't really taken the time to sit, cool off and work through it and try to hear your partner and for them to hear you. Let's just say you're there and you're still like, you know, spinning around and you just want to be heard. You know, you just want to share your side, but that's not fair to your partner because they can't share their side. That's right. You know, so you're painting them as back negative 
and you're painting your relationship as negative mm -hmm. and you're painting your choice in a person as negative. So you're gonna look like an idiot, you know? Well, why'd you choose mm -hmm. that person if that's what they're doing? Well, why don't you leave? Makes sense to me, why don't you mm -hmm. leave? Okay. And then you go back and you work it out. So check your motive. If you just need somebody to agree with you, go work it out with your partner. That's right. Go to the source. Mm -hmm. Go to the source. And do you want to transition to uh, Stephanie's question yes. about family members accepting? Like for me, I could just start, you know, I've always been with women. I've always been gay and in female relationships. Um, so it was never an issue. They love Cheryl. I mean, they didn't know her very well before we got married because, again, we were kind of doing this all kind of like figuring things out ourselves. But... They love her. I mean, that my siblings call her sister. She's in the family chat. I mean, she's she go to the cookout with the cousins. And, <laughs> I did. Yeah. Get to so go there's to the our family. My family's like so embraced her and love her uh, so much. Um, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. Yeah. And um, the same was um, is true with my family. My kids love Tracy, and. I love the way they respond to her and um, I love the way you embrace them. You know, she reaches out to them, she remembers their birthday and she does something special for them that, um, you know, just on her own. She doesn't talk to me about what do you think I should, she just does something and it's just always really special and thoughtful and so that's been really nice to watch and uh, my mom and Tracy have a very special uh, friendship relationship and uh, that's just made me so proud. Um, because, you know, I, I wasn't sure if my mom, my mom's been, she's on the live, I think, Mimi, if you're still here, but I wasn't sure if she was going to be supportive or not. But she told me in the beginning um, that she was going to be our biggest cheerleader. And, uh, and she mm -hmm. said, I will show you, I'm going to love Tracy like I love you and like I love Carol. And she has done that. What is a lesson you wish you had learned earlier in your life? You go first, baby. Okay. I can't see the person's name who asked us this. Sorry. A lesson you wish you'd learned earlier in life. Um, I wish earlier in life I would have been more committed to my health. I wish I would have been more mindful of, you know, um, you know what I was eating and how, you know, just my physical activity. Like I just wish I would have been more. I wish I would have learned more and knew more about that because the older you get, like the harder it is to mm -hmm. overcome some of those health battles and hurdles and things like that and so you know I made it I mean different times in my life made a conscious decision to be more mindful of choices and things like that and when you when you're predisposed to a lot of health challenges like it's you know I just wish I had been more on top of it earlier in my life so that's one thing I would say I wish a lesson or something I, I wish I'd known earlier what would you say baby um I've said this before, and it sounds like so the opposite of probably how I'm perceived, but I wish that I had known um, decades ago that I was enough and that I was everything that I was looking for in other people, in relationships, um, to kind of complete me. And, uh, and it took like failing in those relationships and realizing that I was the one that was pulling the weight of all of it and that I had it all within me um, before I realized um, my power and my worth and my abilities, my value. So um, once I realized that, um, you know, I think that's what laid the groundwork for me being with my lovely, brilliant wife because I knew I deserved that. And if you don't know you deserve that, you accept less. So Did you know it was less when you were accepting it at the time or not really? No, because I really somehow on some level, I don't believe this was conscious. I don't believe I ever remember saying this to myself, oh, this is all you deserve. I never said that. It wasn't like that. But somehow, some way, somewhere down in there, I must have, I must have had a belief that this was all I was worth because I chose it and I stayed, you know? Mm -hmm. So it had to be in there somewhere. But once I got done with that um, <clears throat> and learned, I, I, I'm a learner through relationship. That's just the way I um, have learned in my life. It's a, it was a hard way to learn. Um, but I learned the same lesson 
in different ways and in different forms and in different words, you know, but it was always coming back to, you got this, you got this, mm -hmm. you had it the whole time. And then there it was again, you know, showed up differently. Um, but it all came back to that core, um, feeling of lack mm. and, um, I'm not lacking anything anymore. And that didn't happen with tea or because of tea. It happened before tea. And sometimes she jokes and because I don't put up with anything anymore, Baby. not nothing. And sometimes she laughs and she says, where's that other Cheryl? Where's that other Cheryl Girl. that would put up with some stuff? I need her to put up. I with need her. More. I said, oh, no, she's gone. <laughs> she's not here anymore. Mm -mm -mm. She's gone. I have to tell you something really funny. Can I tell you something funny? Sure. Just a little. Okay. So. Look, she has a governor today. She's making sure she's not going too far. <laughs> Probably will. Go I'm not going too far. <laughs> no, it's um, Taylor's dad. He used to joke with me and he said, um, Dali, he's French. Dali, he says, you don't draw a line. You draw a fucking canyon. <laughs> when I leave, when I part, when I say no more. It just takes you a minute to get there. Oh, yeah. You don't draw a line, you draw a canyon. Yeah, that's true. You know that's true. I don't look back. Oh, what do you see in our windows? I don't, I don't think those are birds. You know, but it's shaking. It's the wind. Oh. What in the world? Are they shaking their rug on our window or something? Maybe. They should hear that a lot. <laughs> All right, baby. Um, um, it's my ghost. It is um, white chocolate raspberry. Yeah. Well, this person's Darlene. <laughs> Baby, how do you keep moving in life even though there are haters? Oh, goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can draw a canyon. Uh, you don't pay attention to them at all. You don't entertain them. And, you know, because they don't matter. They don't know you. you when you know who you are and you know what you're intentions are and your motivation and you know the quality of your thoughts and uh, what you're about uh, there's no one that can tell you who you are that's different than that you know you know you're intelligent and have integrity and whatever if somebody starts saying something against that first of all it's not true and what's not true does not stand period and you know you just have to know who you are and once you know who you are people can't touch you it doesn't matter to me what they say and what they think. You know, I don't know who said this, this quote, but it's like basically what people think of me is none of my business. Mm -hmm. What people think of me is none of my business. Yeah. So it's easy to say that and you're like, okay, that's it. I don't care what they think about me and I'm this and I'm that. It sounds <laughs> great. And I think the, but the human side of us, because we're all human, um, there are times when things do bother you. Right? You know, we're on the social media platform. Our stuff is public. You know, sometimes we don't make up. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we look better than others. Sometimes we, and, and people say a lot of things, you guys, like a lot and a lot of messages. Um, and, and we would be not telling the truth if sometimes we didn't say like, well, that pissed me off or, well, I don't like that because we're human. So in, in principle, it doesn't matter what we think about you. But you're also human. And so if it does get under your crawl one time or for 30 minutes, it's okay to feel that and to experience that and just let it go and keep it moving, right? Cuss, um, cuss because a little the reality bit. is people don't hate on people who are not successful. They're not going to hate on people who are not doing well or have things going for them or have a lot of potential. Or They're not hating on They're hating on people who are moving. Mm -hmm. And if people can't latch on to a moving train... It pisses them off, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, it's like the more haters you get, there's a Marvin Sapp song, um, and it's called Close. I think it's called Close. And so basically in his song, he's like, God, I must be close. I must be close mm -hmm. to what you have for me because all this stuff, negativity, doubt, haters are coming out of the woodwork, so I know I must be close to something. So I just think of the song Close when I start feeling like the hater nation 
is kind of coming after us or me or whatever. It's like, I must be close to something, God. And that's just kind of what I started thinking about. Mm -hmm. The breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. That was a good question. Um, baby. You know, the other thing that kind of helps me with that too is I, I think the only way any of us can see the world and see others is through our own heart, the lens of our heart. And um, I think that people that set out to hurt you and be unkind, truly unkind, and um, I just think they're miserable people who are can't see anything besides their pain, you know, and they don't value themselves, so why would they value you? I just really look at it as, you know, we heard this all the time growing up, consider the source, but it's really the truth. You know, if you look at them and you go, they must be in a lot of pain that they're inflicting this kind of pain. And, you know, we have, we know the haters that, that, you know, are talking behind our back and all, and they're absolutely miserable people, like miserable. And we know it. So, yeah, that's why I say just don't pay any attention to them because, you know, it's their work. It's, it's not mine. To figure out what to do with what they say, no, that's their work. I, I say ignore it. But, you know, I agree with what T said. We're human. It, it will, like, you'll go, ah. Why did I say that? Ah. That's not you know? or whatever, but yeah. whatever. Baby, um, did you um, experience any kind of internal struggle, struggle with your sexuality? Mm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. This one says that as a teenager, I, but as a teenager, you No, 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 no. As so a teenager, I, 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 you. I, I never thought in a million years that I would be married to a woman today. Never. Mm -hmm. Um, like when my mom first found out when I was in the, my first relationship with a woman, um, she said, have you been su suppressing something? Have you been hiding something from me all these years? And I said, no, I mean, I never, I never thought about being with a woman ever. I believe that. It's the truth. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just grew up thinking, okay, I'm supposed to be with a man. You know, you have babies, you get married, you know, all of that. I did all that. Yeah. See, said I'm just as surprised as you. Yeah, I really was. And I found myself in that situation. And I, you know, this is kind of goes back to what I was saying to the girl who said, how do I tell my mom? This really will apply here because um, <clears throat> telling her about tea was completely different than telling her about the first relationship. And um, <clears throat> because I was so unsure myself, um, I didn't know how to explain it to my mom because I wasn't sure what was happening in my life either and where the relationship was going or not going or what to call it. And it did seem like such an abrupt, you know, 180. And I would have been confused too if, if my best friend had come to me and, you know, all of a sudden it's with a woman and you'd go, I would have been confused too. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, but I didn't have the time to figure it out before my mom figured it out. So she said, are you with that woman? And that was the beginning and of what did me. You think? Were you like, <laughs> that was the beginning of me coming out. <laughs> My mom. That's what she said. She clocked it. Mm -hmm. Moms know. Your parents kind of know. Like, if you're like feeling someone, they can sense it, you guys. People can sense energy. Right? Well, they know your behavior is different. Yeah. You know. Child, I have to tell my mom. She already knew. So how did you tell your mom T? Um, she already knew. Mm -hmm. She told me. Yeah, same thing. <clears throat> Baby, um, how about this one? Someone said, how are y'all doing? That's so sweet. Aww. Thank you, I'm a simp. <laughs> We're doing really well. Mother's intuition, it's so true. Baby, how do you think you've changed as an individual since you first got together? Oh, I love that. Um, do you want me to answer it first? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've told you guys this several times, but I used to, um, I used to be out all the time. And even when T and I first got together and when we first got married, we were going out all the time, right? And um, I think it was just because for so many years, I, um, I didn't really have anything at home, you know? Mm -hmm. I, um, I feel like I was kind of piecing together my life a lunch here, a dinner there, you know, with different people, and I didn't have a home life. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think part of that was still just habit when we first got together, like 
okay, I'm going to meet you at, you know, True Lux or wherever uh, for dinner because I wasn't cooking. And, um, but then when I had something really special at home, that changed. It really did. Even before I got sick. I was when you got sick, it really, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like, we did a complete almost 180 in a lot of yeah. ways. Well, we had right. to for, yeah. for that time. But even before that, I re oh, yeah, I remember being like, I don't want to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, I um, I didn't leave anything out there. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's the most um, positive change. The thing I enjoy the most is um, I don't care where we are. We can be out in the streets and we're still just going to be like it's the two of us mm -hmm. and we're, you know, right where we want to be. But it's really nice to have a home and be home with your home, your person. She's body now. Yeah. Um, so now T says, can we go out? Well, yes, baby, also, we can. like, I work from home now. Yeah. Um, I didn't before I went into an office. And so I work from home now. So I'm home, I'm at the house all the time, like on the computer all day long. So it's like, okay, I need to get outside. Unless I'm traveling, you know, I pretty much turn the computer off and it's like, okay, what are we going to do? We're going to eat, what, you know, what mm -hmm. have you. So um, how I changed as an individual, I would say my wife has really helped me with this. I've talked about it to, before to some of you who, who've been around is like, I've always been one that um, like would, I cared about other people and doing things for other people more than myself. And so I wouldn't really like, I mean, I would splurge every once in a while, I'd splurge on something for me, but typically I would not do that for myself. And so like one, one way that I've changed is, um, you know, I will, I'm more inclined <laughs> to do things for myself now. And, you know, when I, when I got this watch that I wanted, that I've not been able to wear in forever because my wrist is so swollen, but I was like, baby, like I want this watch, but it's so freaking expensive. I cannot believe, I can't spend this much money. And she's like, why can't you? Like you work hard, you do this. But, and so she's really helped me see that, like, you deserve these things. You work hard. The reason why you work hard is to be able to do these things for yourself. So um, I definitely think in that space, I pay more attention to me now, mm -hmm. you know. I love that, so too. Yeah. It really helped me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a great question. Um, do you want to mix it up and do gifts, or do you want us to just do another? Because we still have to do the unpack that, too. So any thoughts? Do you want to just keep going right oh, now? Oh, it doesn't. Whatever. We right. can do gifts if you want. Can we do another one? We can do one, um, one more. Mm, mm, mm. I do want to answer just real quick. Um, a couple of times it came through when you mentioned that I was sick. I had a thyroid storm. That's what I had. And it was um, life threatening. And it was a do year into our, it was a year into um, our marriage. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah. You want to open gifts? What would you like to do? What are you feeling? Um, or do you see another good question? Or do you guys have a good question? This, how about this? Thank you, Luke. It was a hard time. Do you have any advice on building a loving foundation within yourself? That's a really good question. building your self-esteem and <clears throat> how would you go about that? I think just, you know, basically like, you know, I think it goes back to just understanding your self-worth. And even if that is like just writing down, here are all the things that I love about myself. And it may be hard in the beginning, but like think about what am I really, really good at? That I think, you know what, I'm pretty good at this. Um, what's the thing I love about myself that people may even compliment you on that you may not really see, but other people see it in you. And I think sometimes it's just like making it visible so we can physically see it in front of us um, really helps us like understand the power of who we are and our own worth. Um, it's really kind of hard to advise on that, I would say, but I would say like take note of the things that you really like about yourself or things that you're really good at or what people have complimented you on are great ways to probably start, I would say. Believe what they're saying because a lot of times um, if we're doubting ourselves and we're kind of just in a in, a, in that kind of emotional rut, um, we we don't believe. Like sometimes I'll tell T something and she'll be like, No, no, no. I say yes, right? Like it's what? It's true, Girl, baby. It's don't true. Be, don't be doing me like that, man. I'm just saying, you know, people don't have to uh, 
be kind. They don't have to compliment you. And if they say you have really beautiful hands and, and it's, let's say something you've been self-conscious of for forever, maybe start rethinking that, you know, and saying, okay, well, you know, and allow yourself to receive that and start building on that, you know, and start smiling because I promise you people really respond to when your face is lit up, mm -hmm. you know, and more positivity and more beauty will come to you when you put that out there. Everything looks different back at you when you are lit up. The world changes. Mm -hmm. I've noticed on days when I go out and I'm feeling really down about something or I'm sad or I'm, I don't, I just don't feel well. I don't know what it is, you know, but I'm just, just like shrunken. That's what I feel like. Just I want to be invisible. I am invisible. Like people don't even like, they just, and I think it's, they feel the energy. Mm -hmm. Like, don't bother me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play. I don't feel good. You know, mm -hmm. I don't love myself right now, whatever it mm -hmm. is. And, and then there are other days when you really put forth the effort, you know, to feel good, to look good. And you walk out of the house and your face shows it, you know, you're, you feel like a million bucks and those are the best days. That's true. They end up being the best days. So if you want to have a better feeling about yourself, tend to yourself, put the effort in, you know, and show up no matter how you feel like about yourself, just show up. I don't know, just like anything's possible and it'll come back at you, back to you. What are our hobbies? That's right. <laughs> All right, um, there's a question here that I think we will be a great segue into our let's unpack that. Okay, let's go. Uh, is it hard being an interracial couple and is there any pushback? Is it hard being a racial couple? We just talked about this uh, video yesterday. We sure right. did. Mm -hmm. Challenges, we get this question a lot actually, challenges of being an interracial couple. Both of us have dated outside of our race before, so that part is not new. Um, I've never been married to someone, ever, so that's at all, but certainly not married outside of my race either. So I think um, what I will say is, if you're in an interracial, interracial relationship or marriage, it's very important that you have a partner or spouse who um, listens, who does not try to tell you what you're experiencing, who does not try to um, align their experiences with yours in a, in a way to connect and say, oh yeah, that happens to me too as a woman. We're not talking about that, boo. I'm black. We're not talking about it being you as a woman. So you have to find someone, if you're gonna be in an interracial relationship, who really is going to listen, be quiet, who's going to um, try to understand the experience you are having because they will never have that experience. But as much as she empathizes and she pays attention and she observes, she will never have the experience that I had in Italy, which we're gonna talk about as in our Let's Unpack That. So you have to have a partner who's going to do the work. And I mean, like thinking like, gosh, I need to go, I need to read a book. Let me read an article. Let me read and understand what unconscious bias is. Let me read and understand why the Black Lives Matter movement started. And what's the root of that? And why is it so important? You have to have someone who's going to be able to do that because you chose to marry someone who's experiencing these things. And you have to be, you have to walk along, alongside them in a way that they feel supported by you and, um, and listen to and feel listened to. And I feel like with C, she is open to learning even though she's dated before that you know people who are black it's very different being married to someone and being married to a woman and a black woman very different. and it is you know she recognizes her privilege she recognizes that as a white woman there are different experiences <laughs> that she can have that are going to be different for mine um that we can be in the same room and get different service like she's seen it with her own eyes but if she wasn't attentive or thinking or just having this, you know, rose colored glasses that, oh no, I don't see color. That's not real. Mm -mm. You can't have someone who says, I don't see color. That means you don't see me. That means you don't see me. 
So I would think that is, I would say that's something that in our relationship that I feel like we're, we've grown in quite a bit. Um, but my wife is, she listens, she is attentive, um, and she knows there are things that she just does not know and that she will never understand. And she accepts that part of it too. Um, so I would not say, you know, that we still probably are growing in that. We're still probably learning these to happen. More experiences that will happen that will probably shed more light on the plight. And I think what she said to me last night, and she's going to talk in just a moment. Um, the thing that she said last night to me in our informal chat is she said, I just think like, does my wife feel this every single day? That was so um, sobering. Mm -hmm. Do you want to finish? No, I'm good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I am very clear um, that I don't have a clue what T goes through on a daily basis in her work, on the street, driving, people looking at her in her car, just whatever it is that I'm sure happens every day. I don't experience that. Um, and I don't claim to understand because I've lived this life as a white woman. And um, the best I felt I could do, the most I felt I could do was to live my life and teach my children to be accepting of all types of people. Straight, gay, black, white, I mean, literally, Middle Eastern, whatever it was, it didn't matter to me. But I was uninformed in thinking that it was enough to say, I don't see color. I didn't understand what that meant. And it took living with my wife and marrying her and choosing her to be my partner and going through life with her to understand that you have to be more than colorblind. You know, you have to listen, you have to learn, you have to teach yourself, you have to pay attention, you have to be empathetic. Um, because a lot of times I think we just don't want to hear it because it doesn't affect us. But it does, you know, it truly does. And when we were in Italy, um, and this was what brought about the conversation we were having last night, when I was with my wife, and I've never, she tells me about what happens when we're not together. We've never had anyone here look at us sideways or anything. Um, but in Italy, that happened, and he's gonna talk about that. And it was, shocking. I was like, that didn't really happen. It did happen. It was just like, it was unbelievable for real. And it was infuriating. It was very sad to watch my wife who is so amazing and brilliant and strong and just, she's everything to be treated as less than. And for them in front of her to address me because I'm white or Crystal and Aiden because they're white and dismiss my wife was, I thought, where are we? What world are we living in? What is happening? Like, I know that happens, but it was just a lot. And then we came home. This is what I want to get to because T's going to talk about all of that. But we got home and we were talking about it last night and we were talking about, you know, what's happening in the world and what's potentially coming, you know, that's going to threaten um, our marriage. Project 2025. Okay. Project 2025. Mm -hmm. And if you take it apart and you look at it, we're at risk on so many levels. And that plus a couple of other things that we were talking about, about work and all, all of those things combined. Last night, I was feeling so overwhelmed, so afraid for the first time. I have never felt, what was the word you used? And I said, yeah, that's what it is, vulnerable. Oh, sorry, baby. 
I have never felt vulnerable as a woman, as a white woman, as an American, never. Last night, I was standing in the kitchen and we were talking about everything that's gone on. And I felt very afraid and I felt vulnerable for the first time. And that's when I looked at T and I said, is this how you feel every day? Like people are looking at you, they're judging you, they're thinking you did something wrong or you're about to, I mean, just all kinds of things. And she said, not every moment of every day, but she said, yes, every day. And it's it hit always me. always in your mind. It, it, you're black, you're gay, you're a woman, whatever it is. But first and foremost, you're black. And that just, um, I don't know, I felt so um, overwhelmed with grief you know, for her. And, um, but I don't think I would have known that if I hadn't experienced it with her and if she were my wife, you know, and the things that affect her, the laws that govern, govern us, they're real. And, um, yeah. I think when you asked me that question last night, for the first time, you really were like, I never I got it until it. last night. I didn't. On the heels of the experience. Too. It was and putting it all together and thinking about Project 2025 and what that could mean to us and our life and us, just the insecurity of that. And to think about, you know, people that have to live that every day, it just really, ripped my heart yeah it's and just... i told her there's not one place i go into that i don't recognize my blackness right work restaurant traveling always aware and typically people make you aware they do something they act they say it reminds you which is while we want to segue into this experience we had um, on our European vacation in Italy. If you've been around for a little bit, you know that we publicly talked about this experience where I was racially profiled at a very high-end popular um, hotel, right? Um, and just the whole experience of not being listened to, being gaslit, being talked down to me, not my wife or the other couple that were with us. And, you know, today, for the first time in two weeks, we've been home, not quite two weeks. We've not been home two mm -hmm. weeks yet. Monday will be two weeks, mm -hmm. yeah. Today, for the first time since we've been home, I literally, before the live, it's kind of while we were late, it is while we were late, we talked for an hour to the vice president of this hotel brand. Not the specific hotel, the entire umbrella brand, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Big job he has. And... Tonight, you guys, I felt heard. I felt heard. He didn't talk over me. He wanted to understand my experience. He wanted all of the specific he details. He said, I want the details. He mm -hmm. listened for an hour. When I felt like I was, my conversation was not hitting where it needed to, I redirected. I controlled she the conversation did. with this vice president. And at the end of the conversation, I said to him, I believe you. Mm -hmm. I believe you. <clears throat> I believe something's going to change as a result of this. Mm -hmm. Okay? I actually told him what to do. I gave tips mm -hmm. and ideas on how to teach your people about unconscious biases mm -hmm. and how they show up in decision making and how they can lead to people having experiences like I did in this particular establishment. Um, how to talk, how to have hard conversations mm -hmm. where you're listening with empathy, you're framing, you're not making excuses, you're not giving your own narrative. And every time I felt like he was going to give me an excuse as to why something happened, I cut it off. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry to interrupt you, but I want to drive us back to this part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. This is not a hypothetical. This is actually what happened, right? Yeah. So he got quiet. 
He, he was listening, and I believed him. And you guys, at the end of that conversation, this is what I did. I affirmed him as a leader in this organization. Mm -hmm. I talked about the one or two things that he could model for his management team at this particular hotel. I talked about the damaging impact of being seen through a single lens as a person of color. My wife said, baby, tell them who you are. Mm -hmm. I don't typically leave with my resume. I don't call myself Dr. Brown. I don't do that. But I had to let him know that. But he led with his. And I, baby, I was like, let me just give you two or three and minutes. And his was about 10 minutes long. And so I baby, said, baby I, I had to let him have come it. Come on. And I just kept going like this, like more. And so I told him, and this is who I am, and this is my wife, and this is our platform, and this is my experience, and this is how I recognize around the world mm -hmm. as a top voice in leadership. Baby, he was just like, the man was taking notes. But all that to say, you guys, honestly, I feel, I felt at the end of that conversation, I told my baby, like, a weight was lifted off of me. Because sometimes, you guys, people just sometimes just need to be heard without you talking and telling them what their experience mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. without you giving your input and your thoughts on what you need to be quiet and listen. Mm -hmm. And that typically will solve it. <clears throat> If mm -hmm. that had happened at the hotel where they said, Trace, I am so sorry that was your experience. Although it was not our intention, I can see mm -hmm. how that made mm -hmm. you feel. And I need to let you know that I'm going to do A, B, and C to make mm -hmm. sure I restore your confidence in our brand. Mm -hmm. We would not have made a post on social media. It's because until we said something out loud is when we got the attention of the vice president of the company. So I said that to say, you guys, there is, my baby said this a while ago, something good is going to come out of this. Mm -hmm. Something good. And it is. It's going to be a reminder of our principles in this organization, of who we are. It's going to be, we're thinking about how could they train on unconscious bias and how it shows up and how we interact with people, etc. And he said, I want you to give me the weekend mm -hmm. and come back with you and tell you what I think. I'm going to, I need to put all this together about what, my proposal is going to be or whatever. And I said, I need to know kind of what you're thinking. What are you thinking? Oh, I'm, I'm thinking about the training and yada, yada. I don't go into a lot of details, but I will say this. I felt like he was honest. He was genuine. I said to him, not only do we want to be reintroduced to your brand, we want to reintroduce our community to your brand, which is a very important part of it too. So I felt like, you know, that's what it's about. It's about People not having the authority to say, what you experienced is not true. Mm -hmm. What you felt is not accurate. <clears throat> That's not okay. So I had to give some leadership lessons today to the vice president who thanked me at the end of the call. And I felt heard. I felt heard. I controlled the conversation. You were heard, baby. I believe that. You were heard. He I was, he was genuine. He very was genuine. Very genuine. Mm -hmm. But you were masterful in presenting the facts. And you kept driving it back. He he wanted to do these hypotheticals like the way it's supposed to work. Well, we can appreciate that after the first or second one, but that's not what happened. Let's just talk about what actually happened. And um, I think that was brilliant on your part. And he said at the end, he said, this makes me so sad. He said, I would like to believe that 90, what percentage, Nine. 99 or whatever, almost 100%, we get it right. And he said, unfortunately, you know, we're human beings and we're going to get it wrong. Mm -hmm. But he said, it breaks my heart. And he said, I believe, and he said it just like this, I believe every word you've said this was your experience and um so he said I, I want to do something because we don't want any any other we didn't want you to have that experience thank you for bringing it to me and we don't want anyone else to have that experience but it was different the way and how he said it and what he said than what we heard at the hotel because at the hotel there was panic there was pleading oh don't let her be mad and it was like but they weren't listening. They were just trying to 
hope it didn't happen that way. Just hope it away, you know? Sweep it under the rug kind of thing. And he even mentioned that. And, um, but you know, if you can dare to sit with yourself and dare to accept the fact that maybe you made a mistake and be remorseful about it and try to come to a solution so that, you know, the offended party is uh, okay, it could have been worked out then, but that didn't happen. So that's a huge lesson for everyone. You know, if, if you're seeing something, you know, the total opposite way of the other person and it's the same thing in the middle that you're looking at, um, you need to adjust your view mm -hmm. and try to sit in that person's, this is the hard part, that person's chair, that, those person's shoes, that person's skin, that's the hard part. But I think he did an amazing job and that's what we talked about afterwards, T did too. I said, I don't wanna tell you what I think, how do you feel? And she said, I think he heard me and I believe him. And I said, that's, that's what can we want more than that? And he wanted to think about it. He said, I want to figure out what this is going to mean to our organization. Mm -hmm. He is like, he's really serious. He's not gonna just go, oh, you shouldn't have done that. He wants to change some things. I believe it. And I believe he will. I too. And, sorry, no. one more thing I want to add. It is 100 million percent the way it was presented. And we talked about it when we hung up. It's what we talked about the other night when we talked to you about this issue the first time. It was true power that brought that about. It was her knowledge, it was her resolve, it was her passion about what happened. It was the way she dealt with it. It wasn't force, which we talked about, power versus force. Power can be quiet. It doesn't mean it's gonna be lay down and walk over me. It can be very in your face, but respectful because it's fact, it's not gonna fall apart. Force, you can be loud and scream and whatever. It wouldn't have gotten the same outcome. It wouldn't have gotten the same outcome. It's hard to listen because of that noise. You right? can't hear because of the noise and the chaos. So this was, this was an example, a perfect example of using your power and your voice and your, your eloquence and your Brain, baby. It was just, so, it was a match, master class. It was. And she wasn't trying to school him. She was trying to help him and to understand, you know, what, where the issue was. And um, yeah, it was, a, it was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing to watch. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful. Me too. Yeah. You know, the other thing I was thinking about is, you know, we have to give people space to grow and learn, right? Mm -hmm. It's easier to be upset. It's easier to lash out. It's easier to do all those things. When you have people come to you and they're contrite and they want to learn, they want to grow, they want to apply what they're learning, you know, you, you grant them that. Like, this mm -hmm. is going to help someone else. This is going to help the manager who's probably a newer leader. Um, mm -hmm. in this part of her work, learn how to manage a team, how to communicate with others. It's all about growing people. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like even though this was a very difficult experience to go through, I do believe in, after speaking with him, like granting grace. grace. We talk about it all the time. Yeah, granting yeah. grace. Yeah. If there's gonna be action, and I believe it. I do believe it. And um, yeah, so I felt literally before we got on this live, I just felt like this huge like boulder was removed from my shoulder tonight. Um, just after talking to him. And we said, we, when we hang up the live, we're gonna me message him and just thank him again. Like, you know, mm -hmm. um, we are, yeah. Because he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to listen. He could have just let me, you know, say what I was gonna say and, and keep it moving. Um, he just kept coming back. Please, I want to talk to you. Please, let's talk. And yeah, mm -hmm. you know when it was. Do you get tired of teaching people to be aware? Yes. Go ahead. That's a burden too. You know. Mm -hmm. You know this whole time, and when it was happening, 
I kept saying, I can't believe this is happening to my wife. I can't believe that it's happening to T, Dr. Brown. I mean, like, she's just everything. And I was like, why her? And tonight, I want to tell you, this is why her. Because it wasn't supposed to have that ending. And with somebody else that doesn't have that level of everything she has in her, it wouldn't have the same outcome. And that's why it was given to you. That's why it happened to her. All things work for good. All things. It's part of T's purpose. That's exactly what it is. But God. You know when you make yourself available to God and you... You show up every day and your, your heart is to do the next right thing and to make a difference. That's not just sometimes. That's not um, when it's easy. You know, I know that conversation with today for T was not an easy conversation. And she was so gracious to that man. And she said, I have to have these conversations a lot. And I know this is not an easy conversation for you. And she was, she was empathetic to him. It was all of it, guys. It was the grace. It was, you would have been really proud of your Auntie T, for sure. But that's why it happened to her, because it was supposed to. She was supposed to bring forth this message to that company, to that man, not that woman that was at the hotel that was talking over you and acting like you weren't there. It was meant to be that conversation that was had today because he got it. It didn't fall on deaf ears with him. It broke his heart. And he said, I am going to, and he can. He can do something about it. And he said, I am going to. And he wanted to think about what that would look like for his company. And he has under him, just him, 3,000 people. He's in charge of the hotels. hotels. 12 hotels, 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. And he said, I have to think about what this is going to um, turn into. And he thanked her. He thanked us. And um, I can't, we can't, right? Wait to hear. Um, because I think he will be very deliberate, you know, and um, intentional and do what he said. Yeah. And you know, it made me think about like when we were there, um, you know, they offered, oh, you don't have to pay for the boat, we'll pay for this, we'll pay for that. And it was like, it wasn't about that. Mm -hmm. It was not about paying for, it was about you acknowledging my feelings, focusing on doing something different, taking corrective action so no one else experiences that. That's worth more than any amount of money. Mm -hmm. It's about that. Respect. Yeah. And everyone deserves it. Mm -hmm. Respect. There it was right there. A hundred percent. Thank you, A. Collins. Mm -hmm. I have never been so proud. I'm proud every single day. I tell you guys, and you're sick of hearing it, I'm sure. But I just baby. never, baby, I've just never been so proud. That's the way you do it. You know, it's hard for your Auntie C to uh, keep her mouth shut, mm -hmm. but I kept my mouth shut because mm -hmm. I really wanted, it's not because I didn't have a lot to say, I had a lot to say, but I wanted, it was her experience and I wanted him to hear it from her 
Because as much as I can say, I bet that made you feel whatever, I know how I felt, but that doesn't matter. He needed to hear from her. And uh, yeah, I was just passing her little notes like, <laughs> cause you know, I was over there stomping my feet. Yeah, she did an amazing job. It was perfect. I'm so like light, mm -hmm. much lighter. Like mm -hmm. I feel like I'm gonna rest tonight. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So can we just do affirmations and open presents when we go live tomorrow or Sunday? Or do you want to open presents now? I think we open presents now. Okay, we're gonna open presents. Thank you all. Thank you for listening and just thank you for like being on this journey with us. Like, you know, we talk about you guys, we can laugh and shoot money gun and sing in the microphone and play and have a great time. But then there's real life too that happens that really, that we want you to be a part of and bring you into um, as we navigate like real situations in real life, right? Yeah. Um, and so it's important that we share those experiences with you all too. So thank you all for going along the journey yeah. with us. Thank you, Yvonne, for the because, gifts. And thank you thank for you, all Yvonne. of you been giving roses and gifts. We were talking, but we saw them coming across. We want to thank you for those. We appreciate it. Auntie C, get back to hitting Auntie T with the money. <laughs> we're going to do gifts. <laughs> Own your story. That's right, Melissa. Your Auntie T and her experience and the way she handled it is going to make a difference for a lot of people. A lot of people, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oops. Yes, but there's no doubt in my mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Life changing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, that tequila. Crystal, where's Aiden? We love you. Mm -hmm. They simultaneously had the wrong one and the right one. And That's the truth. the truth. No, they had the right one. Mm, true. They had the mm -hmm. right one. T was Isn't put on this earth to do amazing things. Yes, we all were. We mm -hmm. all were. Um, can we do some gifts? And then we can close with affirmations? Yeah. Okay. They said there's a package at the door? It's um. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Let your lights shine, Tracy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Naya Boo. <laughs> Still won't let me subscribe. Sorry. Thanks, Jaslyn. We have to stand for the good. Each, each and every one of us. We all have to. Welcome, Elise. Okay, we need some gifts. Mm -mm. Okay, T's arm's starting to hurt, so we're gonna move this party along. Mm -hmm. This is a card, but it says don't open it. Oh, this is a private card. Yeah. Is that a first name at least? It mm. says, um, let me look inside. It says after July 12th? Mm -hmm. oh, it's after, after July 12th. 12th. It's been in the mailbox for a while, I guess. They want a song, baby. It's from Karen. Oh, sweet. Okay, Karen, we're gonna read it later. We're gonna read it later. Thank you, thank you. People are talking, talking about TC fam. I hear them whisper, you won't believe it. They are a community who loves each other and we go through it all together. Go baby. Come on, that's all I have. That's all you I'll sing something else in a minute. Okay. We're gonna open gifts. Thank you, Luke. Come through vocals, ties. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's it's hard out here for me. <laughs> okay, Jackie. this is from. Love you too, Mello. Cicely Moore. Hi, Cicely. If you're here, thank you. Cicely, you are you here? I'm about to get signed with these vocals. I know. I know. My wife's a singer. <laughs> I'm a singer. That's right. Greetings, Cicely. Mm. Cicely Moore. I just wanted to first commend you ladies. It takes bravery and courage to show up the way you do and I absolutely admire that. My name is Cicely S. Moore and I live in Louisiana. My wife and I have been together 15 years. Whoop, whoop. Married 11. We need more loving, positive couples that are visible and willing to, to love. Mm -hmm. Lynn, wait. Oh, 
No. What does that say? Pave, pave, the, way pave the way for younger generations. Mm -hmm. I wanted to gift the two of you with t-shirts from my movement called More Love, Less Hate. It's just a movement to spread love and positivity in our community, our community mm -hmm. and you ladies are doing just that. Again, congratulations and continue to love as if each day was your last. Thank you again for being authentic and sh showing up for those that aren't <clears throat> as, brave. as brave, so they can see that true love still exists. Aww. That's it's beautiful. Gratitude. It's it's gratitude. gratitude. Thank, Thank you, Thank you so much. More love, Let's less hate. Shirts. I love this card. Thank you, Paloma I and Crystal. Cute. Where's Aiden? More love, less hate. You guys, it's Crystal's birthday weekend. Happy birthday, Crystal. Happy birthday, Crystal. Where is Aiden? <laughs> Let's see the shirts. It says, Kindred Spirits, More Aww. Love, Less Hate. That's so cute. Isn't that cute? Can you see I it? I love this. Thank you, Cicely, and your wife. Thank you. There's some Captain Million. <laughs> They're saying, Happy birthday, Crystal. It's We're about to be a million. <laughs> I gotta load my gun. I love these. These are cute. Those are super cute. Thank you, Cicely and wife. Hi, wife. Okay, baby. This says Glitter Monkey Custom Creations from Hockley, Texas. Hmm. We don't a know glitter monkey. Enough. Glitter Monkey Creation. What in the world? Tracy and Cheryl Parsa Brown. The order for opening. Uh, this Aww. is from Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Card can be read online. Okay. okay. There's a poem inside the card can be read online. Okay. Three box, four bag. Extras of what's in the box. Sweet. We okay. love it. Not instruction. She teaches. Thank baby. you. She She's has to teacher. be. The teacher. She has to be. That's our teach one. Zoom. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> This world needs more people like you who have beautiful red lipstick, glasses, red hair, a Cinnabon, a glowing personality, a money gun, and a microphone. Tracy, feel free to add any of your own words for the front of this card if you'd like. <laughs> she Look, knows all too well. She wrote that on there. <laughs> I love it. They know you, baby. Okay, here's a little note. She said we could read the poem, too. Want to read the card first? Mm -hmm. Okay, card first. Tracy and Cheryl, it's true. The world does need more people like you. Thank you for sharing your lives, your relationship, it's, uh, and your wisdom with the TC fam. It's heartwarming to see two women showing their authentic selves while living and loving out loud. This is just a little gift to say thanks for being you. Please keep doing what you're doing. It's appreciated in more ways than you may ever know. Sincerely, Teach 1295, Kelly. Thank, Thank you, you, Kelly. Here's a poem. You want to read the poem? Mm -mm. No. Hi, Tracy and Cheryl and TC fam. I'm looking forward to tonight's live, can't you see? I hope T will get into a wade in the water singing jam and that you all will get to learn a little more about me. I'm sending T and C a gift today. Even though there's no special occasion, it might be something they can play. I hope they find it amazing. What hit the window again? I've wanted the first gift I've sent to be unique. Can you guys hear that? What is that baby? Mm -hmm. Let's just keep going. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, I hope you find it to be on brand. Maybe you'll want to use it after you've had a long week, or if you just can't play one, more Uno, one more Uno mm. hand. Mm. I've included the color orange, which is neat, in remembrance of a certain special Aww. hoodie. Wait, I have a question. How'd you two meet? Tell us the story again. I know it will be a goodie. Even though I haven't been to a TC fam special event, damn, I feel like I've made two friends for life. Mm -hmm. Plus, I'm part of the beautiful TC fam, led by two women who are living and loving as wife and wife. Mm -hmm. I hope you can enjoy this gift 
and can use it to pass the time. Thank you for always giving my spirits a lift. Not having those Friday night lives would be a crime. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all I have to say. Now let's open this gift sometime today. For you, T and C, I pray for good health, everlasting love, and 40 years and a day. And that the TC fam will be right here alongside you each step of the way. So sweet. Thank you, Kelly. That was, oh my God. that was a sweet phone, Kelly. You made us cry. Uh oh. It's a purple bag. What is this? I don't know. Ain't no crying in the club. No crying in the club. Pimps don't cry. <laughs> I'm not feeling like a pimp right now. <laughs> Oops, I just knocked over your water. That's okay. I'm feeling like a baby pimp. <laughs> My wife's a baby. Cry baby pimp. Cry baby pimp. Cry baby pimp. See. No pimp, no cry baby. A cry yeah. baby pimp. See. <laughs> Pimping ain't easy, Giselle. <laughs> no. Thugs don't, don't cry. cry. <laughs> we got a new game, baby. Dominoes or bones? Maybe show them. I did. I just showed them. No, the, this. The oh, okay. Do y'all do y'all say dominoes or bones? Tell the truth. This is fabulous. Y'all say Lexi Ray say bones? Okay. They're double twelve oh dominoes. Okay, we have to figure out how to play that. Okay. So I don't know how to play that. But bones, this, if you're watching GMA. Maybe you won't let us say that. Oh. Veronica. Oh, these is bones. <laughs> These is bones. Oh my God. And it's, these is baby, extra bones. These are beautiful. They're so nice. I love the, I, I don't think she's here. I'm not seeing her tonight. She's not here? 
We're gonna message you, Teach 1295, Kelly. We love Kelly. Kelly's one of our subs. I'm so excited. She's a teacher. Um, she's amazing. Oh, there she is! Yay! Kelly, we just opened the gift. This is so amazing. Did you see, did you hear us and did read? Did you hear us read your poem? The poem in the card? In the card? We love it. Mm -mm. Oh well, she already saw it. She oh knows she's in this. I know she This knows. is so And the, the, the cover. I even have TCPM like, on there. Oh, sorry, I'm covering That's your okay. face, babe. No, Here, get in, show get in. Get in. Oh, she said, I've been here. Yes, thank you. Aww. Thank you for the poem. You had all the thugs crying, Kelly. You had the thugs crying. <laughs> Kelly, you made us cry, Kelly. You know we're emotional today. I know. Um, Such a sweet gift, right? Yay. I love that. I know. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Okay. We have a couple more. Yeah. And then we'll do a couple, because it's midnight, and we'll do a couple affirmations. Yeah. We're gonna, we have two more gifts, you guys. Three. Uh, here. Three gifts. I don't want it. Um, yeah. Here's <coughs> one. Oh. Oh, this one shows what it is. Yeah, that one shows. And we know what that one is, too. We do? Well, we will. We do when we open it. I know. Yeah. What are we celebrating? Life, Marie. Life. Girl, life is, life is good. Marie. Even when life is lifing, life is good. Oh, they sent us this. So we got a what gift, you guys, from U.S. Cellular. They messaged us and said, we want to send you all something to help with your summer. So what does it say? Learn how to make, how you can create more genuine connections this summer. What does this mean? The Summer of Us Passport. Oh, day activities. I don't know, baby. We'll figure this out. Thank you, U.S. Cellular. For sending us our oh, there's a thing. Else. Oh, and there's a thing you do in here. This is thank you, U.S. Cellular, for the gift. Thank you. What is this one, baby? I don't know. I'm afraid to. I'm afraid it's gonna go off in my face or something. Oh, what is baby, it? Let's do it. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. U.S. Cellular. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna. It's a stamp, Yvonne said. That would make stamp. sense. We stamp it when we've done one of the activities. Oh, our passport. Yvonne, you're so smart. S really? I Thank mean, you. I still can't get it open, but maybe it's... That's so sweet. They messaged us and said they wanted to send us something. It opened somehow. We'll figure so it out. So shout out to U.S. Cellular for the Thank gift. Thank you. We appreciate it. Um, Crystal Light. Who sent us this? I don't know. There's a... Is it great? I can tell you by our two favorite people. Okay, well, I know who it is. We know it is. <laughs> Uh, we got um, the crystal light and, the and the bunk cakes. Where? Oh, yes. That bunk cakes. Baby. That's, that's oh, from Sonique. I just cut it open, but it's it's all our favorite everything. Well, girl, we need to look at it. Yeah. We need everything. to look. Let me see if I can get over here, though. Now, what you want to know, my wife is not paying attention. What y'all want to know? Your wife is on the floor. What y'all want to know? She's going to tell you. Baby, look. Look, baby. My wife is not great, honestly. Okay, I'm going to tell you what's in this box. Um, it's, baby, um, Sonequa uh, subs. Sonequa. Baby, you get the mic on. Sonequa. Sonequa. Mm -hmm. Okay, baby, I can see from here what Thank it is. Thank you, Sonequa, for the subs. Why is everything from the Friday song? Everything is from the Friday song. I don't know. I'm out of creativity, I guess. It's late. You just okay, tied. Okay, what is it? Oh, it's your, it is is your kind bars? Ritz peanut butter crackers. Peanut butter crackers. Crystal light. Oh, that's a lot of caramel. That's all your nuts. Those are my nuts. And all my caramel kind bars. And cr more crystal light. And more crystal light. Baby, baby we did it. We got all the snacks. We got all of our move. Yeah, we got hey, our movers, moving snacks. Our, our packing crew. We got you some snacks. <laughs> Sonequa bought our own snacks. <laughs> thank you, Sonequa. Thank you, Sonequa. And thank you for the sub. You need Sonequa. You take such good care of us. Say thank you to Sonequa. Thank Unique you. Sonique. All right, um, you guys, we're gonna do a few affirmations, okay? Yeah. And then we're gonna jump off because it's late, and then we're gonna go. We're going to go uh, put Casta to bed. 
Poodle Wooda, it's your birthday. Y'all, it's Poodle Wooda's birthday. Poodle Wooda, happy birthday. Happy Poodle. birthday. We're going to show y'all a picture. Sonique of, is so sweet. Of Casta. How many subs did she get? There's 20. Still going. 20. 20. She's Sonique trying to get us to 1,000 subscribers. Yay. We're at 9. How many do we have? 65. <gasps> We're what supposed to be, okay, let's have a little sub gate. <laughs> we need a little sub gate to get to a thousand. Mm. We got to a million. Casta oh, wait, 1.1. Poodle Wooda. Of course we told you happy birthday. Poodle's birthday. Poodle Wooda. <laughs> she said she, she, she likes being on a car. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong with me. Maybe she just, she's just grown into the just the TC fam love and space. Oh. Who? I've always been here. Girl, I've always been here with my TC We've thing. done a lot. We've had court. We did Q&A. We did oh, that's what that. We did Cups. Gips. Pop me up, baby. Just get this. No, bring your cushion over baby. here. I'm uncomfortable. I know, but I need something to hold me up because I'm falling down in a hole. There. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Megan sent subscribe. Did Megan send a sub? Megan. Let me get my gun together. T salad bowl sent five. <laughs> Baby, we're gonna be there. Thank you. I've always been here. T salad bowl. Hey, Trisha. Mm. Trisha, you're up late. You weren't ready, ZZ. You know, I just bring it out sometimes. It's midnight. Not too much. The on iris in the face. <laughs> you're Aww. welcome, Lexi Ray. We love you. You're welcome. Hey, Cece. Willie Vessel. Mary. Mary, my money pusher. Mary, don't you weep. Mary, we owe you a, a message. Don't weep. Mm -mm, mm. Don't leave. Y'all, it's midnight. We sweetly. They put Trace. Trace on. Love you too, Kiki. Mm -mm. You want to count those eyelashes. Veronica. <gasps> Bye, Olivia. What's Olivia doing? <laughs> Saying stupid stuff. <laughs> What's a Zoom about coming up? What's up, girl? You mean our Q&A Zoom? When are we gonna do it? Mm. Um, I don't know. We got to yesterday. We were just okay. saying maybe we could do <gasps> What happened? Laker girl. What'd you do, Laker girl? She said 50. Laker girl. Wait, what happened to your face? What I don't know? know. It goes Larry weird. Girl. It goes girl. Oh, Lord. You are the one. I can't look. I can't go up Your there. love's Whoa. so sweet. You that? give all the subs. Thank you, Lega Girl, for the subs. If you just got a subscription, say thank you, Lega Girl. Baby, why is it? Look up. It's doing weird things. Let me do this. I'll reset it. Oh, it's still there. No, no, no. You don't do that one. <laughs> you do this one. Wait in the light it's gate. It's still there. It's better. Okay, it's better. I don't know why it does that. Laker girl. Thank you, Laker girl. Thank you so much. Oh, they're all saying thank you. They were like, I want a sub. I want a sub. Well, there you go. And then here's Laker thank girl. Thank Laker girl. She just girl. comes in at a clutch. Doesn't she? Yes. We didn't even know she was here. She just silently in the background. She said, don't, oh, and don't count me out. I'm here. They said thank you because I'm broke. Oh. <laughs> we love that. So we're going to do some, we can give away some. Mm -mm. Whatever you say, Q&A. Like a sub only? I would love that. Or meet Q&A? Yeah. A sub only Q&A on Zoom. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And we do affirmations later this weekend? I can do just a few. Okay. You want to do it now or what do you think? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Laker girl, where are we going to meet? I know. Corey, Corey Massey. Corey wants to meet you too. And so Thank does you, Corey. Cherish. I'm just mentioning names. They're like, this. <laughs> They're all saying, I want to sub. You can sub hitting the yellow star bottom, on the bottom. Mm. Okay, so um, <coughs> do you want to give away? Um, you want to do them? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do our sub giveaway now. So if we call your name, subs only, if we call your name, that means you get to come to our Zoom kind of like Q&A. We'll schedule it. We'll send you the information. Mm -hmm. But you have to do one thing. If we call your name, you have to go to the link in our bio, and you have to go to the TC Fam subscriber giveaway and fill in the information, and we're going to send you an email with all the details. Mm -hmm. Okay? Easy enough. Mm -hmm. Wilson said, fill out that Google form. Wilson, did Wilson. you get your swag bag yet? 
Did you get your gift, Wilson? Hopefully you did. We sent it. Um, okay. You With pretty orange. orange ribbon. Sub only Q&A. Q &A. Just today she got it. Yay. Yay. Sub only Q&A. We sent out gifts last week. We sent out swag bags. We sent Amazon stuff to our subs. We just, we like to give y'all stuff. How many people do you want to put in the uh, sub only Q&A? If you're feeling generous, baby. And what will they do? Will they send in questions? We'll ask them for questions ahead of time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys will have to come up with some good questions. So when we send you the email, you can respond with your questions. Okay. You need to say, um, what do you want them to say whenever they, um, hi, Mama Mary. What How are you? Um, say Q and A. Say Q and A yourself. Q and A. This is for a sub only Zoom call. AK the Great. Luke C, Spady C, Amazing Kiki, Bees, Giselle, <laughs> Jackie Jackie, Adriana, Desi, Ario, Oreo, oh. <gasps> Sonequa, thank you, Sonique. Oh. Teach 1295. Yes, here I come. <laughs> Load my gun. B Yay, Sydney. Thank you, Sydney. B Sydney. <laughs> Life's a mirage. You're in. Maine. Maine. Mrs. Parsa Brown. Lord, don't that. name. <laughs> Here you go. Amanda R. Eleven twenty one. Naria Faith Taylor. Anne with an E. Mm -hmm. Tia thirty three thirty nine. Jill. Deb Do. Is that what that said? Deb Do. The curly haired nurse. Twan dog. Twan dog. Doodle. You have to be a subscriber, guys. Kim. Kim. <laughs> Thank you, Shania. <laughs> Yvonne. Right, Avery. <laughs> Mo Air Thing. J. J A Y. Princess Kanaya. <gasps> Not that Karen. Shakela. ZZ. Sandy Nutley, 810. More? Okay, Amanda. Oh, we already did that. Amanda, eleven twenty-one. We got you. Maybe two more. Let's see. Keisha B. Yana Y A H N A H. Nala N J A L A. I hope I said that right. Jaslyn Blaine. You're welcome, Yvonne. Do you think that's good? I don't know how many probably we got, but probably 25 yeah. or so. Yeah. So if we That'll just be a good called your group. name, if we just called your name, go to the link in our bio and um, put in your information where it says like subscriber giveaway with your email address so that we can send you an invitation. Now you guys, we have this on video, so don't go up there filling up that form if we didn't call your name because we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank All you, right. Wanda Jean. Welcome. They both won. Thank you, Amanda. That's no, right. We like, Tracy, you won. We both won, boo. That's the best part. Thank you, Ty. All right. You want to do a couple affirmations? Let's do some and affirmations. And then we're going to go night. Because night. We haven't done Cherish. Night. Cherish. Cherish. We love you. Cherish. Thank you, love. Cherish. Cherish finally met us. I know. She was just falling for a whole year, wasn't she? I know. And then she acted shy. Didn't even say two words. I'm like, give me a hug, like, Cherish. Girl. She was all we like. more than that. Like, girl, you better talk. <laughs> no, we love meeting you. We love you. <laughs> but people are kind of like that the first time they meet us. And then they're and then not anymore. For the first time. And then they're like, it's just the aunties. Right. Yeah. Right. Because that's what we tell them. It's just us. What well, lipstick? My baby uses Sephora. Yeah. It's cream lip stain. I don't know the color. Uh, and Tease is Maybelline. Super stain. Super stain. And I mixed colors, so, you know. Yeah. But we have our lipsticks on our Amazon storefront. 
as well. All right, you guys, we're gonna do, there's Delilah. Hey, come Delilah. get you, baby. Delilah. We're gonna do a couple affirmations, you guys, and then my baby's gonna have her cake, and then we're gonna watch Big Brother and go night-night. Thank you, Rashika. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, are you ready? Mm, These are affirmations mm. by Katie. We haven't had affirmations mm -hmm. out in a while. Yeah. Yeah, we just kind of, I don't know what we did. We just, <laughs> just bucked the whole system. <laughs> okay, here we go. I will look for the good in myself that I so easily find in others. Dang. Isn't that the truth? It's the truth, baby. It's so easy That's what to we find were talking other people. About. Yeah. Look, baby. Look at Ross in 21. Laker girl. Yay. Laker girl. Baby, we got, we got, we have to change. What is our goal? Well, it's 2,000 a lot. It's 2,000. I never put it down. What's Laker up? girl. How many do we have? You are the one. Let me know. Thank you for the subs. I'm going to read it again. People, thank you, too. You, we want to meet you. Stop playing with us. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, they're saying thank you, Laker girl. I love that so much. Aww. You know what, you guys? When someone gives a subscription, it just randomly goes to people in the community. So she can't choose. Yeah, we don't get to choose. No she one gets to yeah. choose. See, um. TikTok just does that. Sometimes TikTok will give us subs that we can give away and we can choose. But the good thing is that you, you're, they're on the live. Mm -hmm. So they give it, the subs go to people that are on the That's live. Right. So you have a good okay. chance. Lego girl, that is so sweet. You're so sweet. We love her. Mm. Mm. Even though she won't meet us. Mm. Okay. Mm. What you miss? Child, nothing. Just about three Everything. hours of content. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who said that? I don't know. Oh. She's shy. She's not shy. No, I don't think so. Thank you, Michelle. She sent me 5011 cheeses from. <laughs> I know. Amazing. <gasps> thank you, Lonnie. Lonnie, thank you. If you just got a sub, thank Lonnie. You want to meet us like a girl? Come. Next month. Yes. We're going to send you a little something. We don't have our IG. Don't tell Lonnie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Laker girl, can you email us? We want to send you something, and we can't send it through TikTok. Can you send us an email, please? <laughs> Thank you, Diamond. And, and come, come get, get your, your baby. baby. I like it because I know who come get your baby is. I know. You know, a lot of times, they just change their names. They're like, oh, wait a minute, which <laughs> one were you? Too. No, it's fun, too. <laughs> but I really like the kind of, you know, the tried and true that doesn't <laughs> test my brain, like, but they start putting their names in parentheses. I know, so which remember. helps a lot. Mm -hmm. The curly haired nurse. And Thank, the you, curly -haired nurse. Thank you, curly haired nurse. We're gonna meet you on the Q and A live. Yeah. I mean Q and A Zoom. Mm -mm. Thank you, Queen Leah Gardner. And there's a shade. Love you editor. too. And Caitlin be letting us. Have I know. Do you have to let us have it like that, baby? Oh, I love it. We love it, baby. Who? Who's we? Me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're great, Caitlin. We love you. All right, baby. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to read that other one again. Oh. I will look for the good in myself that I so easily find in others. That's for you, Rashika. I love that. She asked me to read it again. Thank you, Katie. Katie Mations. Katie Mations. Katie, are you here? Thank oh, you, Riri. 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 Thank you. Riri. Thank you, Riri. <laughs> Riri. Thank you, Riri. <laughs> <That's the truth>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it, baby. That's the train. <laughs> It's getting late, y'all. Ooh, you have no idea. <laughs> Sandlin, oh my. <laughs> Katie says, you know what? I'm always here. Jasmine, I can't help. It's late. I've been oh, up Lord a long T. time. Okay, Tracy, second. Please. I like when they say that. I know. Please, or oh, brother. The back pew. I love that. As long as you're here. Mm, mm. She gets punchy, it's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Maybe it's time for, we do trivia again. Oh, I know, because there's we're a lot more. We're going to do TC Fam trivia. We're going to do TC Fam trivia. That's going to be our next sub only. Okay. We have, we have a lot of questions. We do have a lot we're of gonna questions. We're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Hush, Kanaya. We're glad you're here, Lou. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Baby. I will use my experiences and my traumas to propel me forward to help others. My traumas and my experiences. Mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to propel me forward, to help others, to love others, to change myself, and to change the lives of others. Mm -hmm. 
If that's not what we talked about in Let's that. Unpack That. That's exactly what it's about. That's exactly what it's about. It is timely. It is very timely. Mm -hmm. That is no accident. Mm -hmm. Right? Eight down. I will use my experiences and my traumas to propel me forward, to help others, love to love others, to change myself and change the lives mm -hmm. of others. Can you show them so they can take a yes. picture? Mm -hmm. That light is so oh, bright. Okay. Oh, there we go, there we go. Can you see it? Nothing is a coincidence, you're right. Nothing. Baby, Absolutely nothing. Not a coincidence. No. That had a bad ending for some people. You know, and I'm not laughing. It, it was really mm -hmm. traumatic. But it wasn't all bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one's good too, because what did we talk about uncertainty? Feeling, feeling mm -hmm. vulnerable. I will embrace uncertainty. I will be brave as it challenges me to grow and create my own path to happiness. Mm -hmm. I love it. Just embrace it. Mm -hmm. Embrace it because I'm going to embrace uncertainty. Yes, it's going to, you're going to have uncertainties it, all throughout your life, right? You can get worked up about it or you can just mm -hmm. say, I got this. I'm going to be brave mm -hmm. as it challenges me to grow and create my own path to happiness. Is it Kay? Are you psychic? Right. I'm telling mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And they want to post my picture. Okay. Let me pull in here a little bit. That would be a bit. We just do whatever y'all say. <laughs> You're not the boss of us. Mm-hmm. Telling us what to take a picture. What you want us picture. to do? We're about to get a thousand <gasps> screenshots oh right now. <laughs> I will use my grief my losses and my traumas as stepping stones on my journey to healing, to evolving, to becoming all that I am meant to be. I love that. That's a good one too. It's all mm -hmm. about the journey, right? Growing and learning and I love it. Mm. I will be aware of myself, intentional with my actions and words and make choices that will help better me and push me to grow even when it's hard. Mm. Amen. Oh, this is it, baby. It's the one she said. I will be the source of my own happiness. Hey, baby, please say that again. I will be the source of my own happiness. Mm -hmm. Can I you see it. that light is so bright? Mm -hmm. There we go. Now you can see yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Baby, mm -hmm. Kanaya is messing with me. What you doing, Kanaya? She's saying basically nobody, and then all of a sudden I just say amen out of the blue for no reason. <laughs> Let me get her. What did I do? <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Let's end on this one. Ready? I will love without conditions. I will love with tenderness. I will love with purpose. I will love unselfishly. I will love with compassion and forgiveness. I will love completely. Mm. And that's that. I love completely. I do too. I love my wife. I love my Mimi. I love my amazing kids. I love my Tiffany. I love Monika. I'm Harriet. I do. <laughs> we love y'all. We love you guys so much. Love you too, Kanaya. We have 870 people we have to say night night to. Good night, you all. We love you. Love you so much. Have a great night. I knew how y'all meet. It's too late for mm -hmm. that. We don't fall for your tricks anymore. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Thank you, Cherish. You guys, night, this has Rudy. been such a fun night. 
It's been a great. Sugar. Good night, Tania. We love you. Tania, love you. Good night, Grace. Good night, Grace. Trinity Cheesy fam. ZZ. South right. Africa. Love you, Yvonne. Okay, guys. We're going to go night night. We're going to go night night. We, we have the best time. Maybe, maybe, you never know. Yeah, I have a feeling. You know. Well, we don't know. <laughs> you know, I get to talking too much. Yes, yeah, so we'll put it on YouTube. You know, as long as TikTok lets us download it, <clears throat> we will upload it. So we'll try. Okay? Thank you for 1.1 million likes. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. And... Uh, for the gifts. Just for all your love and support and your gifts and the know, taps and the subs to the TC mm -hmm. fam. It was just a really sweet, wonderful night, wasn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. And we already yeah. had a couple people reach out and say they got us boxes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so if you got us boxes, thank you for that Yay! too. Um, yeah, we have a link in our bio for those who Can cannot anybody come send to. Tape? I don't know, baby. I need tape. <laughs> Thank you, Suzette. Love y'all so much. Love you guys. Night, Nina. All right, guys. <laughs> night, night. Love you. Okay, be sweet. Have a fabulous evening. Whatever time it is where you are. Be sweet. We love you. Bye. Bye.